Good evening, everybody. This is Hood Action News. I'm so sorry about that. The microphone, for some reason, wasn't working. I got scared, and I was like, shit, what am I supposed to do? But I got it working. My bad, y'all. Welcome to Hood Action News. Happy Monday. I hope everybody's doing all right. We are your hosts. I am Gigi. I'm Asagi. Yeah, I'm A.E. A.E. back, y'all. A.E. back. A.E. A. I told y'all. Yeah. She was out here Where taking care of some on? business. She had to take care of her business, but she back, y'all, okay? We were back to our regularly scheduled program, okay? <laughs> All right? So last <laughs> night, <laughs> last night, these ratchet-ass BET Awards came on last night. They was tunny. They was, they was ratchet. Okay? They was very ratchet. And, um... Yeah, it was it was it was a hot mess, you know. The we had good old Tay LaBelle, she was out here, couldn't remember words and shit. And then, you know what I'm saying, we had some good tributes last night. Folks don't know how to dress. It was a hot mess last night. Um what is it? Um Lord Jesus, sexy red was out here twerking on Yo, my goodness. Lord have mercy. She was out here just, just twerking, like having the time of her life and everything like that. And then Lord have mercy, she was twerking in front of Dr. Bobby Jones. I was like, Dr. Bobby Jones, the preacher? Oh, no. The oh, preacher? The preacher man. Not the preacher oh, man. God. I said, oh, Lord. I, <laughs> that man had to go and pray for Jesus. No, he was very happy from the way I was looking at him like this man is happy. <laughs> Oh wow! The man was very happy. He was enjoying his life, and I said, "Okay, I'm glad he you enjoyed that, sir. I hope you took your heart medication. Everything is fine. Every it was a good night. Chief Keith came out there. Y'all know Chief Keith got banned from BT like ten years ago, so he was able to come back, and he had you know he Whoa. had a good yeah. Mm. Y'all remember he got banned from 106 Park? Oh, what he do? <laughs> Cause he was fighting. Oh my! He was like fighting and stuff. Y'all know how Chief Keith is. Y'all know how that man is. So yeah, so he 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 came back. You know he performed last night. Trioville was out there with Dochi. I love that performance. You know yes, that was I uh, loved it. that that was Dochi ratchet as hell. I enjoyed that. You know Quavo and Takeoff. They had to get. They came together to have a tribute for Takeoff, which they needed to. Like, come on, man. Like, that's y'all, y'all, that's y'all blood. Y'all can't be out here fighting looking like fools like this. Like, stop. So, you know, all that good stuff happened. You know, the best thing about last night, there was no Nicki Minaj or Chris Brown. That was beautiful. Yes. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love that. I enjoyed it. And we, we need more of that. So, during this whole, you know, shindig, you know what I'm saying? And, oh, yeah, shop trick daddy. Trick Daddy was out there last night, girl. Yeah. Trick Daddy did a good job. I like that. That was nice. Trick oh, Daddy Lord. and Trina, Trina old ball head. And we got call her ball head. She has her Stop. one of there. She came out there. She did her thing too. So it was nice. It was cool. Glorilla and everybody, you know, Ice Spice or whatever. But speaking of Ice Spice, last night at the BT Awards, John City Girls, um, JT and her man Lil Uzi Vert was there. There was a verbal um altercation that resulted in a phone being thrown at this nigga's head i'm not gonna lie i laughed hard um and well she said it wasn't about ice spice it was about basically she said it's not about ice spice you know it's about my seat and i it was it was got taken and i was just frustrated and and blah 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 she, you know she was frustrated because she lost her seat that's what she said i was like you are a liar. You got mad because he was sitting there in ice next to Ice Spice. Also, he used Ice Spice in one of his songs. So, yeah, you got mad at that. Um, you can't get mad at that, JT. Look, look, look at who you're dating. <laughs> look at who you're exactly. dating. Stop. And Ice Spice was being messy because she posted the picture on the Instagram. All I gotta say for Ice Spice, I'm like, look, sis. What you what you're doing right now is not cool in this industry because that kind of shit right there will get your ass like lay down the block. Second of all, this little partnership with Nikki and you hanging out with Nikki and all this shit is making you into a mean girl. 
Mm-hmm. And that we, and you, know. we, you too young to do that. You keep fucking around with Nikki and you turn to have this mean girl persona like her, ain't nobody going to fuck with you. You're young, but you're going to find out real quick. And, and Ice Spice, girl, I like you, but you, you've got to find, you got to stop putting your tongue out in every picture. And that one shaking move that you do, twerking move, it's got to stop, girl. You got to find something else. It's, 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 come on now. It's right. like Munch was great, but you you got to you got to move past Munch, sis, because this this right here right. ain't it. But you know what? What do y'all think about this? And hey, you go ahead, girls, because we heard from you in a minute, girl. Oh, okay. So first off, JT need to stop lying. Ain't no way you yelling at Lil Uzi to give you the phone and all that type of stuff over no seat. It was about Ice Spice. You just don't want to admit because you already know it's going to look bad because you know you like to have this bad chick persona and you take niggas. Nobody take niggas from you type of thing. But we already know what's up with that. As for Ice Spice, she's known to do this because I know, but you know, the biracial beef that she has between Lotto and herself. She would go into 21 Savage um, posts and start liking them and, you know, leaving all these flirtations type of emojis and stuff like that to try to get on the Lotto skin because apparently Lotto's allegedly 21 Savage sneaky link or whatever. So she's known to do this type of stuff. And like you said, she's going to keep hanging around Nikki thinking that being a mean girl is, is cute because, oh, look how far she got by being a mean girl and all, all that type of stuff. But she, like I said, Give it a year. Mm-hmm. She gonna find out Nikki ain't for her. She just using her for this potential, you know, mm-hmm. this temporary clout that she got. And once it's used up, she just gonna move on to the next one. Cause right now she's linking herself up to Big Sexy Red, you know, with the Pound Town tuning thing, you know, all that type of stuff. So Nikki is just using these girls. So you try to act like she's all about women empowerment, but she's about self empowerment. Right. That's it. And right. Ice Spice, she's gonna learn the hard way, like you said, she's gonna learn the hard way. Because, girl, I know that people like your personality and stuff like that, but you cannot rap to save your life. You twerk your embarrassment away because you can't remember the own lyrics. Your own lyrics you can't even remember, so you got to twerk away the embarrassment. And like you said, you need to learn a new move or learn your lyrics so you don't have to twerk it away. So that's why I got to say. I agree with you on that one. Mm -hmm. Amen. Like, Nikki is going to be the downfall of Ice Spice. Like, you already got your career started. And you're going you to mess it up with this little, like, this this little mean girl persona. Because it, it was just, <laughs> you, Ice Spice and M- M- Lotto fighting like that, like, going back and forth, is so stupid. I'm like, here we go. <sighs> mm-hmm. The fight against the biracials. Great. I don't want to see yeah. that shit. <laughs> I already saw like lot of those nipples. Them things do the like pink tic tacs. I was like, yeah, it, yeah, I was yeah, like, girl, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was girl, like, ooh, girl, you need to put them back in there. <laughs> I ain't want to look at them things, girl. Them things, <laughs> them things. You ain't see, Nicole saw them too, so I was like, let me Wait, go look. Real? Yeah, she talked about it in the uh, Hunt After Dark. So I went and to she go. Told us about it. Yeah, she told us about it. So I went to go look. I'm like, I want to look at these nipples, and I'm like, why they look so ashy? You actually went to go look <laughs> at the nipples, and I didn't even go and check to see it. Well, what you can go see? It. It's up. I mean, you can go go on Twitter, type down Lotto's nipples, it'll pop up. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I okay. <laughs> That shit would pop right on up. It's just like they're all her nipples, and I'm like, this thing's ashy as hell. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Nicole talked about it like plenty of times. <laughs> and then Lotto and Coyle Ray getting into it, and then the, the and the thing about it is, Lotto versus like Smoke on the Blunt, like Coyle Ray, and this like I forgot the rest of the, the lyrics. Coleray got mad, but Coleray to understand Lotto wasn't dissing her. It was actually a tribute to her. And I'm like, Lord Jesus. <laughs> like, why are these people that can't rap get mad at each other? I'm sorry, Coleray can't rap. No. Like, that- even the song that they try to hype up No More Parties, like, that, even that song wasn't 
all that it was mid. So it was, I don't like nah. Yes, it was. I'm, it was very mid. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, I do love Corey Lerae. I, 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 I'm gonna be honest. She I needs to be a social media influencer. She can't rap. Like My sweetie. Yeah, she can't. Uh, Corey Lerae uh, cannot rap. The only reason she got into this industry was because her daddy. Corey Lerae can't rap. She needs to be an influencer. She's good at doing yeah. that on her YouTube channel, but rapping, no, it's bad. Y'all, y'all gotta let me live this down because I listen to players. Come on now, I, I, I actually like the song. That's the only one. That's it. <laughs> That's it. There's nothing else. Everything else is just bad. Like no, like she, she, how she? No, in my opinion, she is not a rapper. <laughs> She isn't. And like even her daddy can't rap either, so it's in the family. Right. <laughs> what? Even Benzino can't rap? Oh. Hell oh, no, Benzino, Benzino can't, can't rap. rap. All Benzino can Benzino do Benzino is can't rap. He can't. Oh, so it must Oh, never mind, it must be hereditary. <laughs> All Benzino do is get online and take off his shirt and try to be a what is it? Uh, a, a, what is it? A deal. A and, it, and it don't work. I'm like, put your shirt back on, please. <laughs> Why like you still crying over Althea? She been left you. Right. Leave it alone. Like go somewhere and sit down and just leave it alone. Like ain't nobody like no, please, no. And just stop. All these rappers, fem well, I don't even like use the word female, that's horrible. Lady rappers, excuse me. Basically, oh my gosh, they the new ones out, they can't rap. They no. cannot rap. No. And Megan Thee Stallion wasn't there. I wouldn't blame her. She's like, I ain't coming to this shit. I'm out here living my yeah. best life. Yeah, she need to rest up anyway after everything yeah. that done happened. A lot of them people that are at the BET Awards talked against her. So go for what? Go for what? Yeah. Right. I feel like she just needs to be away from the musical spotlight for a while. She does. And she already said, like, don't ask me about no music right now. I'm healing and I'm just yeah. taking care of myself. And she is. Yeah, she looks happy. She's getting fucked by this dark skinned, tall ass soccer player in the UK. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That's her new boo. Oh, he left party alone. He's very mm -hmm. handsome. That man is handsome. You hear me? Mm -hmm. And you know, I don't blame her. The man said he was embarrassed by her. You're going to be embarrassed by her when she was the one that got shot. She was the one that got humiliated. She was the one where everybody on social media was calling her a liar and turning their backs on her. You supposed to be there for her. How you how you fucking embarrassed? And then you're gonna turn around and make exactly. this song about black women this, black women that. No, you keep that shit. I don't wanna hear it. Sick mm -hmm. of this shit. Niggas always wanna be like, I'm embarrassed, and then wanna turn around and make some songs and shit talking about I love black women, but weren't you just saying that you was embarrassed by this shit? Sit down. Right. Sit down. Shit. <laughs> right now you wanna pander. No, it's too late for that. Y'all see when he they broke up, he went he did this whole poem trying to beg her back. She ain't coming back, man. <laughs> she, she ain't coming back. Oh. And that's it. Like, she's happy. And there was a reading done by who what is it? Um the Hoodoo Sisters did a reading on her. And it was a good reading too. They say her ancestors are very, you know, they strong, they protect her. And she wanted distance. Like in a relationship, she wanted distance. And I was like, oh, she got with this guy? Distance. I'm like, I see you. I see exactly what, what's going on. I'm like, go ahead, girl. Live your mm -hmm. life. Live your life and be free. Shit, I don't blame you. Because everybody just, like, dogged her out. Y'all dogged her out for, like, almost, what, two years? Yeah, because it mm -hmm. happened in 2020. And then the tail end of 2022, all that finally came out. So, yeah. Two almost three years. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for her, man. And then they want to come back and basically push the trial back to August. Little nigga, no, go to jail. You right. need to go to jail. Go to jail.
No right one, no now, one cares please. about you. No one cares about you. Go to jail. You shot that girl. You shot her, and your her stupid ass ex friend sat up there and admitted the shit on the fucking phone. And now she act like she don't know she got amnesia. No, you dumb bitch. Take her ass to jail too. Mm-hmm. Justice for Megan. Yes. Yeah, for my girl, for our girl. That little nigga be all right. I'm pretty sure he can make him a little, little, uh, what is it? A rope ladder to get off his bunk at night when he has to go use he, the potty. He can make his little mixtape in jail. He'll be okay. I'm sure they have, uh, like, meals for toddlers in there. Somebody can chew, <laughs> chew his food up so he can be able to eat it and stuff like that. Gosh, it gets on my nerves. Do y'all see this shit? Did y'all see that shit in the shade room? Trigger warning that they're about to basically like go on trial. And I um let's see, they're basically um trigger warning molestation allegations against Michael Jackson will be going to trial. This man is dead. Is gone. What? what? Oh, leave it alone. Oh they they raided this man's mansion more than once and couldn't find nothing. He was just this dirty, conniving person. How come when y'all surprised raided his place, y'all couldn't find out one thing? None. None. That man didn't. I, I think that man never touched them kids. He never did. Oh. He never touched them kids. The only mm-hmm. thing he did, Michael lost his mind at one point. Because basically the childhood, let me open this Lucho mango. Basically the way the way he grew up, the way Joe did, all that shit, that fucked him up. That fucked them all up. Yeah. Especially yeah. him because he was the face of the Jacksons. He was the leader. He had to sing and all this stuff. That was a lot. So it fucked his head up. But that man ain't touched them kids. Yeah. And even and even Mama Janet can even say that he would never do such a thing. Right. Aaron Carter, rest his soul, he's pissed. He got pissed off by it. He said Michael Jackson never did anything to no child. He never did nothing because he met him. And he's never did anything. So why are y'all doing this? And the boy from home alone, he said that he didn't have anything done to him either. Right. Oh, Macaulay. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't did nothing. So now, the, this is that boy. Y'all remember when they did that, that, what is it, the Martin Bashir interview? When he was just like holding his hands? I think that's that little boy. They ain't do, that's the parents behind this bullshit. Didn't oh, want to even God. admit it that his parents told him to lie so they could get money. Right. Oh my God. And why would y'all do this on the after the day that he fucking died? Right. I didn't like that. No, they're starting the trial the day after he died. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh. How desperate do y'all gotta be? I can't. I cannot with these people. People are doing too much. Let that man rest. Damn. Oh, Michael, Michael can never rest. I know we put memes and you know in the chat and stuff, but not not this right here. I'm I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Man. They never let this man rest. Like, dog, let him rest. Trying to take the money off away. It's like the Jackson Corporation, because you know Michael Jackson got a bit, still got a team and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what are y'all trying to get? Right. Y'all, I think they see that you know his kids. <laughs> they're trying to take money from his kids, and I'm like, y'all just, Lord Jesus, greedy, money hungry. They better leave that man alone. And I know that's hurting Catherine. And you know, Catherine's getting is older now. It's breaking mm-hmm. her heart anyway. Yeah, Are y'all go lost learn. her son. Leave her son alone. Yeah. Like, y'all go y'all go learn to stop messing with Catherine's heart. Mama Catherine's heart. Y'all gonna stop. 
I'm like, God, dog. Like, if y'all gonna sue somebody, at least sue Joe's Joe after death. Him, his ass. Ridiculous. We were talking about that last night. About, um, about that last night. About, um, Joe Jackson and shit. And, like, how them kids, them kids got mad at Janet. They got mad at Janet. This is after Michael died. They got mad at Janet. They got mad at Reby, Latoya, Randy, Marlon, all of them. The kids that Joe had, the outside children, the daughter got mad at them, talking about they don't want to have a relationship with me. First of all, you are Joseph's Joseph kids. That They not your, they, y'all siblings, but they're not obligated to be and have a relationship with you. Joe decided to lay down and bust the nut in another woman. So you take that up with him. As far as them having a relationship with you, they don't have to do that. And the only reason you're doing that because you want some money. Yeah. Right. Otherwise, you couldn't care less. Right. You don't. You All you want is the money. And she was mad. She wrote a book about it, too. You wrote a whole fucking book about that for what? What You wrote a book and you, and you expect them to feel bad for you and to basically be like, oh, we're going to like basically take your side and we'll go ahead. And... No, that doesn't work. Your dad, your daddy and their daddy, well, your daddy mainly decide to, you know what I'm saying, to be a rolling stone and go out here and do what he do. So no. They, he, she really pulled a whole Jamie Lynn Spears and write a whole a, a, a whole a whole like book oh but Britney got in that ass though so yeah. no so no Britney is tired like she had to write another post on her damn Instagram like y'all gotta stop lying like just leave me alone like she said that it's been like so many years since she's, you know, been able to do the stuff she wants to do and people will just take it the wrong way and she's just like, no. She's like, no, I'm just trying to have fun and live my life and be happy now. That's all I'm trying to do but unfortunately I don't know. It's ridiculous. Well, I feel like I wanted to talk about the Zoe one oh two mess, but like Yeah, I go know, ahead, go ahead. Oh God. Lord, I y'all gotta stop reviving Zoe and her reminiscing on being at PCA. Please let it go. She's been dreaming about this for eighteen years. Let it go. Like, Jamie Lynn's gonna have to find something else to do. She can't live off of that for the rest of her life. Right. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Like, I see, when I seen the poster for that, I was like, now who the fuck asked for this shit? <laughs> right. <laughs> who asked I, for this I'm shit? Saying, and then I'm seeing Quinn and Logan being a couple. I'm like, wait now, hold on. First of all, that is uncanny and weird. Secondly, why is that happening? What I'm trying to figure out is that I'm like, who who authorized even her to come back to this show? The only reason she got famous is because her sister. Yeah, that's how she got the show in the first place. Ain't nobody yeah. gonna be tuning into this shit. Cause Britney was supposed to originally be a part of the cast. But they took Jamie Lynn in over and, her. And, okay. And y'all remember the day when we found out that Jamie Lynn was pregnant at 14? I said 14. I was like, Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, my I, God. When they yeah, had, that's why the show got canceled, because she got pregnant. I was like, girl, what you doing? What? What was going on? So y'all, I. And she did. She married the dude too. Yeah, he was broken, still broken. Then they was trying to see if they could get some money out of Britney together. Like y'all better get a damn job, right? Right. Like, girl, what you was at fourteen? Like, what wow. was y'all, girl? Y'all was hunching. That's what <laughs> in the back of my head. I was like, uh -oh. 
Ooh, y'all was hunching behind the building. That's what was going on. Ooh, girl. Right behind the building. That's what, the, ooh, girl. That's what they was doing. I'm like, ooh, we, she out here being spanking. Mm. You did, and you doing saying all this shit about your sister, but you was up here being a hot mess at fourteen. Girl, stop. Mm-hmm. He had messed up your bag because you was going to Pound Town. Okay. <laughs> that's why. That's why. Her, that's why you and old uh, and Alexa Nicholas that played Nicole from the show. Y'all, y'all still, y'all was. Out, you didn't even get along with her. Damn. What the hell? Oh wow! All types of mess is going on with that show. Mm. I can't believe they brought oh, that oh, shit back. Oh, oh, and I noticed that Victoria Justice isn't even isn't even on the little on this mess, which I probably don't blame her for because after what had happened behind the scenes with Victorious. I wouldn't blame her for not trying to come back to Zoe 102 or Nickelodeon. Especially Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. So many skeletons, ain't no point. It really is. Like, I'm surprised one big old lawsuit hasn't happened yet because because this is ridiculous. All this stuff, like, I feel bad for the people that had to go through the stuff they had had to, especially with Dan Schneider. Amanda Bynes is one of them. I feel so bad for her. Her mama's a piece of shit too, you know what I'm saying? But I feel bad for her. And, you know, I'm glad that she's she's trying, you know, she's trying her best and she's getting the help she needs, but yeah, Nick Nickelodeon fucked her up. Bad. Yeah. And then after I feel like after a hairspray, her mental just slowly, you know, gradually declining. It did. I, I just, you know, I'm just glad that, you know, I know last week, last month, she was noticing some shit was going on and she said, look, I gotta get me some help and she went and checked herself in into a facility, which is good. So she's getting the help yeah. she needs. Yeah. Some people like that will just keep going on, but at least, you know, she was able to spot the signs and get some help. There's a lot of people from Nickelodeon that just got fucked up. Not even Nickelodeon, Disney, too. Like, oh, damn. Yeah. Disney was the worst. Mm-hmm. I, girl, I could, I really, girl, I really can't. I, I don't know why Dan not no Schneider isn't out of there because him and his oh god I don't even want to mm, his fetishes his feet uh, fetish his foot fetish basically yeah uh, that just made me uncomfortable now I'm seeing how how now I'm seeing how uncomfortable it made me and I didn't even notice it at first but now I'm peeping game at it. Yeah, like if you if you watch a lot of the shows, the 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 girls are always in a scene where they show their feet, and I'm just like, why do they keep showing their feet? Then Dan Schneider pops up in the foot fetish. I'm just like, this is disgusting, especially on iCarly. Yes. Oh, I thought I was the only one noticing. Like they always was doing stuff with their feet, mm-hmm. right? Yep, and it was always on iCarly. And oh mm-hmm. yes, oh yes, we will. I, I did say that book club's coming back because I am planning to buy the Jeanette McCurdy books. I'm glad my mother died, and we will be reading that because, girl, I was reading a little bit of the book on the Kindle on my phone. I'm like, this is good. So <laughs> we will be reading that. Mm-hmm. We will be reading that. Because, oh, we girl, she had, ooh. <sighs> yeah, they they Me. fucked her up a lot. Her mama was, her mama was terrible, y'all. Calling her fat, <laughs> telling her she had to do this and that. Dan Snyder was like, like, you know what I'm saying, gassing her mama up, telling her to do, it was awful. That's why she left iCarly, not coming back. I don't blame her. Hmm. <laughs> And then she got on that other show. What was the other one? Sam and Cat. Um, Sam and Cat. Yeah. Sam and Cat. Yeah. 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 Ye
So <laughs> you said Mulan. And, 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 it's her birth, and it's her birthday today, and she turns th- and she turned thirty. So happy birthday to her, I guess. Who? Mulan. She don't look so well. Yeah, That's- I don't know. Like maybe she's been taking too much surgery to her face, but yeah, she looks older now. Yeah, that that's very concerning. Very concerning. Like she's really, you know, I know people are naturally skinny, but she is. She's tiny. Like, yeah, you can see the bones and shit in her neck and stuff. Yeah. Like she looks I hope she's bad. doing well. I hope she's. I hope she tries to seek the help that she needs. I mean, I don't know if it's, I don't want to put allegations out there saying that okay, she got a, you know, trigger warning on ED. She may not, you know. And she even said, you know, said it about on her, on her, what is it? Her TikTok about it. And I was like, I understand, but I hope she's okay, you know. Yeah. I mean, I don't like her. I don't. I don't be liking her music like that, you know. It's a little bit of songs, but you know what I'm saying. I don't like to see nobody help the clown like that, and I hope she's all right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. 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 Because you know that's that's very concerning. That's going on with her, but you know she she's been staying out the spotlight a lot though. Mm-hmm. Doing her own thing. She probably tired of spotlight too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, after a while it, it happens. Right. Just like with the Olsen twins. Oh god. That's a whole Oh, they problem. they really went through with Yeah, they're they're they they done. They're over it. They're like it, I don't blame them. Them girls been working since they came out the coochie. Literally. Yeah. Right. When they were just babies on Full House. Mm-hmm. Right. And they and they, and it was and and they literally had one of them or they both had like the fact that they had separation anxiety when they were little babies. Like, oh my God. They always been together. Mm-hmm. Whew. So I can understand that, like that's yeah. terrible. They probably tired of being around them. And they Especially wanted them to with... come back. They wanted them to come back for the reunion um show, but like the like um Fuller House, they're like no. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't blame them that that they didn't want to come around be around them any longer, especially with the old, um, rest in peace to Bob Saget, especially with the old Candace Cameron, aka DJ. She, or, the thing about her, her and her brother Kurt Cameron, I don't like them anyway because they're like these super holier than thou right wing conservative Christians. Basically, I don't like them at all. They have said some. Oh. They have said some foul things, especially her brother. They're Trump supporters, so I really, oh. yeah, mm. I really don't care for her. Um, who else? Who's else on that show? Um, uh, the girl that plays Joey, Stephanie. Sweetie. She used to be a meth head. Ugh. She used to be a complete meth head. She had mm. to get her some help. So, everybody on that show was, oh, Lori, Lori Laughlin, that girl that played Becky, she was supposed oh, to go yeah. to jail because she was out here, like, basically letting her own daughter out here go to school without paying money. It's a whole, it was a whole scam. It was her and Felicity Huffman. It was crazy. So, yeah. The only Ooh. one on the show that had sense was the damn dog. <laughs> oh, comedy. Oh. That's the only one that has sense is the dog. And the dog ain't even on there no more. Dog is oh. dead. Kermit been died. Oh, no. Rest, rest in peace, comedy. They had the tweet. They had the twins on there, but I don't know. 
It's a hot mess. And I'm glad that Taj Mori didn't come co-sign to be back on there, thank God. I mean, he really wasn't a fixed cast member, so that's why they really didn't ask yeah. him back on the show. And I think he's, like, doing other stuff. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. I think they just wanted nothing but one the white fish on the show. No Negroes at all. Yeah. No Negroes. Let's see. Good. We, we won't get cut off this time. <laughs> Yes. We won't get cut off because y'all we be on here talking and to be cut cut off. So usually I just be like, dang, what to do? But now since I have it up to like a three hours, even if we don't do the three hours, we can still sign off like that. So this is good though. This is good. And we will be live tomorrow night. We have a lot to talk about tomorrow night. SM has messed up again. Didn't I tell y'all every week they messed up? They're going to mess up. They're going to continue to mess up until the, the company burns to the ground. And at this point, you might as well just get some kerosene and just light that bitch up. Like the, wow. lady, la- like the lady last night that AE had posted that was burning the damn burgers on the grill. I was upset. Oh, girl. <laughs> well, so upset. Oh, like you burn all that good food. <laughs> so, I ain't even show brother-in-law. I was so mad. Like, you burnt the chicken? You burn the hot dogs. It's okay to burn the hot dogs. I like the hot dogs burnt a little. But the chicken and the and the and the burger, why would you burn it? And girl, she was like, if they don't look like this, they ain't good. Sis, they're not supposed to look like that. They still on fire. Literally, she had to blow out one of the flames on the chicken. Look, look, look. Oh God. They burnt. Everything is burnt. It's just burnt. No, it's not good grilling. Like, ma'am, no. <laughs> like, you, you can't serve that to people. Like, you done cremated like, you all the food. You can't even serve that to the dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> the, like, it was the, the, the cow and the chicken was already dead, and you had to go and cremate them again? <laughs> I am so upset by that. Like, no, this is why you can't ha- have every black person grill. Now you're supposed to have the uncle with the big old like what Fubu jeans on with fat Albert on it, <laughs> on the shirt, on the oh shirt and the God. pants, them good old Jesus sandals five thousands and a Kango hat, and then he gotta have his his belly gotta hang over the pants a little bit, and then he gotta have a um, he have to have a, a white towel on his shoulder. That's who's supposed to cook on the grill. Like no, who was your uncle? The one that was like, they was like, turn it over, turn turn it over. He was burning shit on the grill. Damn, you say this so I don't cut that. <laughs> no. Wait, then y'all ate the burnt shit. No, when the stuff comes out, okay. I don't eat the burnt stuff. Mm Y'all, one of his relatives, he was cooking some shit and he was burning on the grill. They were telling him, turn it over, turn it, t- turn it over, turn it over. <laughs> he turned, oh, God. and they just gave him let him, bur- let him sit there and cook it. No. No. Didn't your brother burn some shit? Didn't he burn them? Didn't he burn the food, sis? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, he kind of <laughs> slightly burned the chicken. Oh, y'all seen that chicken. Slightly yeah. burned? Slightly? Oh, never mind. It, it was burnt, yes. Girl, he Thanos snapped that chicken. I didn't even want to. I was just like, how could you uh, see? This is how you know you can't have everybody in the family cook, right. any, any old body in the family, right? Because they'd be burning shit, burning not even just on the grill, just in the kitchen in general. Child. And, and the and the oh my god, I can't even eat my mom eat. Oh god, her own her own cooking. She always she. I can't even eat her own food without seeing fat back, gr- gr- um, fat back, um, smoked turkey wings or either like bacon or ham hocks. 
not, every, all of it don't need to have bacon in it all the time. That bacon in the greens, bacon just everywhere. The woman is she? Does she have like a a lifetime supply of bacon in her house or some shit? Here's the thing. I know. I mean, I know she acts like she's grown. Nobody can tell her nothing, and you know, and she acts like she's invincible and all that. Right. But get this: the frozen dinners that the Meals on Wheels people deliver to her doorstep every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. She picks over it. Ugh. So you're wasting food? You're wasting food? There's people out here that could really need it. There's children that are starving that can eat that food and you're picking over it? I know think she I'm ain't lying. picking a picky eater to win and she eat like a damn raccoon. I know she ain't being picky. <laughs> think I'm lying. <laughs> How you, you pick really over the food? See that? You really want to see all that evidence? I didn't think so. She pick over the food? That's really, she needs to be thankful what she gets. This is and I always want to talk about you being wasteful, but look at her being wasteful. This could be somebody exactly. that, that really needs that food, and she needs to eat it for her health. I, you know what? Oh my God! This, this, this toad needs to be stopped. She's a toad. I'm sick of this shit. Like, and how many meals does she get? Is it one meal? Sometimes it'll be one. Sometimes it'll either be two or three. Each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Oh my goodness! I'm so she irritates me for no reason. Like not it just all the time. I'm try- Where is that? Um. Where in is- her room. In her room. Okay. Yes. She's probably in there searching for ticks. <laughs> 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 oh, y'all, y'all look okay for the people listening out here. Look, there we we just talk about everything, everything and anything on here. So y'all gonna be getting a little bit of everything. So yeah, y'all just yeah, y'all just gonna have to sit. Look, let me tell y'all what happened last night. So I am cooking supper for the kids. You know, making the food, whatever. We over here chilling. You know what I'm saying? Power goes out. I said, oh, okay, it'll be back on. Girl, I look outside. It got dark. The wind was whipping. I was like, what's going on? You know, the the you know, the birds got quiet and shit. And I was like, what? Juicy is hid, hid somewhere. Don't know where this nigga's at. And we're look, I'm looking outside. I'm like, I hope this tree don't fall in the house. The kids were like, oh, no, Stormy. So I was like, the lights are off. The lights are off. I'm like, I know, I know. Oh, They're going to no. come back on. Oh, no. And um, they didn't come back home. And, man, it rained for a good hour. And the wind was blowing. And then, like, the lightning hit the tree in the front of the complex, y'all. I took a picture of the tree. I need to put it in the Discord. But, yeah, I took a... Oh, please, did I delete the tree? I deleted the damn picture. Let's see. Damn, I deleted the picture of the tree, but yeah, it was crazy, man. Like, it was, it was, it was a mess. Picture, but I can show it to you later. Oh, okay, thank you. So, the, it was out, and Comcast, not Comcast, but George Power was like, the power be on at eight o'clock. Cool. Two thirty a.m. The power came back on. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. And. They're, I think, either they're supposed to give us credit for that because our power was out for nine hours. Ooh. Yeah, they better not charge you. Right. What was you using? We had to get some candles. I had to wrap my food up, put it in the refrigerator. I cooked it today. You know, I, I did still feed them food and stuff, so the kids were good, but still, though, that's aggravating. And then it's summertime. It's hot. I don't like to be hot. Without my AC on, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So the kids were uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable. I didn't like it. You know, nephew, poor nephew, his phone died. 
Then it switch died. <laughs> Oh, no, not the switch. I know he was upset. He was just like, no. I'm like, it's fine. So he started reading his manga. The switch? The switch no. died. The switch died. The switch died. But he read some manga by candlelight. <laughs> <laughs> and then my... It's like, a, it's like a real blurred. I love it. I love it. It was great, y'all. We was in here like, Little House on the Prairie, y'all. I was like, yeah, oh, shoot. Okay, here we go. And, you know, my phone was dying. So I had to like nigga rig the computer to basically, you know, charge my phone. We sitting up here chilling. I'm looking at, you know, movies on my phone, like YouTube on my phone. Two thirty, the two was it two thirty at two thirty two fifteen. Boom! The lights came on. Here come nifty other room like the power's back. <laughs> like, I was like, it's back. It's back. It's finally. Back, I turned the air conditioner on so hot. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. I'm that just happened all of a sudden out of nowhere. I don't know why I did that. That was crazy. That felt like hurricane weather for some reason. I don't appreciate that. Took out my damn lights and my electricity and shit. I had to take a shower in the dark. Oh no, that's the worst. Yes, I still had hot water though. So I was I was oh, happy about good. that. I still had hot water. It's just in the damn dark. No, that's not fun. It was so hot in here. When I turned the light on to look at the air conditioner, I had to redo the redo it because it was at eighty eight degrees. That was not fun. And it's not. It was ninety something today. I don't like when it's hot like that. I get mad when it when it's hot. Exactly. Like, ugh, I'm I'm really afraid for this hurricane season though because if it's acting like that and it's not even officially well, I guess it is here because it's after June, but still like like when we get into July and August it's gonna be horrible. I know it it July. is. Like all this week is gonna be in the nineties. So I'm just like, Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't not tonight not today. Not today. And then I got friends that live in Arizona. Child, it was over there. It was 102. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Arizona. Arizona is cheap to live in. The reason it's cheap because it's so fucking hot out there. It's a desert out there. That's why. <laughs> we don't live out there. Trash cans and shit be melting. <laughs> I be mad. I can't know. Like, y'all, it was so hot today. I was walking home. I unhooked my bra by going up the steps. I was just like, I'm I'm almost close. Might as well do it. Yes, I was that hot. <laughs> and it, it's torture. It is torture. It's not fair. I don't. I, I don't like wearing a bra when it's hot like this. I gotta let them hoes loose. Titties and all. Like I can't do it. The air at work is great. It's it's wonderful at work. As soon as you step out that door, I'm like, oh my goodness, why? And I got both fans in the house going, and then I had the AC, but then the AC started, like, freezing up, and I'm like, no, not now. Oh, no. 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 I have to have air in here. Oh, my goodness. But you, when y'all go out this summer, y'all make sure to put your sunscreen on and stuff, have your little water bottle and stuff with you, because it's going to be, it's going to be a nasty summer. Oh, my God. It really is. Like, I got my umbrella. I'm going to start bringing more bottles of water while I go out. It's just terrible. I'm so mad thinking about it. I'm like, oh. hot weather and fat don't go together. I'm just trying. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be fine. You're going to be all right, babe. Mm -hmm. He'll be all right. My kids will tell okay. me. My kids would be like, I'm hot. And they'll look at me like, what I'm supposed to do? Turn the sun off? <laughs> like, mommy. She told me the other day, mommy, I'm hot. What What you want me to do? You have to do something, mommy. Oh, I don't know, goodness. Don't know what you want me to do. You think of something. <laughs> I was like, no. She already told me what I needed to do. But, um... Yeah, man, like tomorrow night, we will be discussing things about SM Entertainment. Um, um, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Tell you on about the leave, man. 
Didn't I tell y'all she's going to leave? I mm-hmm. said she is going to leave. If Taeyeon leaves SM, that's a wrap. Yep. Because y'all know they sent them trucks. Her fans sent them trucks over there, right? And SM was like, you can't do that. The police was like, well, they actually can. <laughs> well, that had, was so funny. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> well, you know, they oh, had no, it. They're going to jail now. <laughs> the no, they're well, not. <laughs> well, well, let's just say they had it coming. They had it coming. It was happening, bound to happen sooner or later. If Taeyeon walks out SM, I don't, mm, I don't even nah. know if that might be a wrap. And then on top of that, I I I listened to Shiny's album. It was it was decent, but that song that was the NCT Reject song. I didn't like that. You, you know, let me um look look. That song sounded like it was the love child of Simon Says and Ao. I, I, I'm just like they they doing this on purpose. They ain't giving Tayman the Pepe treatment, giving him the, all the messed up hairstyles just cause like Shiny's gonna leave too. Once Tayon and Shiny leave, forget because Tayman is also a big money maker for Shiny. I mean, Ten, I'm for SM. Once they he leaves, that's it. Yeah, Ten, Ten. I, 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 I'm sorry, y'all. No, go ahead. Um, I, I I just got a tin hat and I said it on the K pop chat. What if SM is purposefully potting on Shiny's downfall since they were mad that CBX had dragged them for filth for not paying them for their coins and ended up staying, which I still believe they got blackmailed and they're setting Shiny up for failure as a revenge ch- as a revenge tactic. I think so because they know Shiny's up next to do the same thing. Like, well, before you do that, we're just going to treat you like garbage until you leave on your own or something like that. Right. Yeah. And I, I look. Can we talk about this new girl group that still SM still trying to steal AKB48's formula for? They did that with NCT. Yeah, yeah. They did that with NCT. I'm just I like, like they're what they're what SM is doing. They're grasping for straws right now because they already know that people are looking at them like y'all fucking up. So they're doing all this stuff trying to get back into people good graces, but it's not working. Like, y'all, if Taeyeon leaves, that's a wrap. Like, just shut down the doors and close the doors, put the planks over the doors. Do that. <laughs> They're just wow. messing up really bad right now. Like, what are y'all thinking? And if they put this girl group out there, that's it for Red Velvet. Yeah. They're getting that FX treatment. <laughs> they slowly getting tired of Red Velvet, too. I, I see it. And I know, you know, to be honest, Yuri, um, Yuri probably don't want to be in this damn group no more. She's like, I'm so tired of this shit. Right. Right. Every time I get in this damn group, everybody want to do some bullshit or say some shit. So I don't blame her. Right. The fact that she debuted in the group at 16. Oh, Lord. I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted to this day, but I'm glad she's doing well for herself. I still think you took on snitch on everybody. I'm just feel like he's getting his case together, and once he does, he's telling everything. Right. And I don't blame him, because I would be mad too. Like, y'all just, y'all not treating that, y'all not treating that man right. Like, I don't understand a, a, for a group, for a company that houses some of the best singers, man. Right. The best singers. How do y'all mess up promotions like this? Like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, something ain't clicking up there, man. Like, like what are y'all doing? Right. This is not right. Hey, Cam. Hey, Cam. Hey, Cam. It's, it's something is not clicking up there. Something is not right. This group is, this, this company is took, a hot and mess, they took man. Away, and they took away Shotaro, my man Shotaro from my other man. I can't forgive this. 
I can't. Like, they took half his melanin and then give the other half back for this to happen. He finally got his TikTok back and everything, and y'all just gonna drop him like that. Shotaro, go back to your studio and make some real money. And then right. took away the boy TikTok. Yeah, finally gave it back. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, Nicole. Hey, hey Nicole. Nicole. E -e 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 I didn't know you were e Oh, my God. Like, you but, oh took this boy TikTok, then took his Instagram. Like, the boy just got his TikTok back. How you take it away from him? I know that hurt. I know that hurt. Shut your own. My man. Lord, Lord. Pray for my man, bro. Oh. My homie. Pray for him. He got bills to pay. Yeah. We we'll go back to the studio and that way you can make some real money. You yeah. don't need the whole studio to come and SM show throw. I'm sorry. That was not a boss move. It I'm really sorry, wasn't. baby. I, 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 I really want you. I, I'm, I know he's sitting right next to me right now trying to rub my feet, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm trying to cater to my man. That's how you know I'm his biggest supporter. Ain't nothing wrong with that, girl. You support your man. It's what you supposed to do. I'm starting to think these rich kids just use these uh being an idol as a getaway advantage from being from their parents. Sean Love. Ain't yeah, no getting damn a real way. job. Like mm -hmm. I feel like they just don't want to get a real job. Like, oh, I got to actually work. Why well, can just be an idol and be an influencer and you know model for Chanel and call it a day? Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> I feel like Chumla, Lord, NCT Dream, they putting out another album. Dream putting out another album. They need it's, to rest. Yes. I'm like, when would they let Mark, Chumla, and them rest? Hey, Sean needs to rest, bro. I'm worried for his heart, his cardiovascular. Thank you, Nate Young still out here dancing his way to being a paraplegic. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. He gonna be popping Willie in that wheelchair. You better stop. This girl, <laughs> look. <laughs> like, how bad is, like, how bad is his back injury, though? Well, that I'm not too aware of. All I remember him saying that it seems like sometimes it feels like he can't even move his legs after choreography. So I'm like, okay, that don't sound good, sir. I think it might be, I think it may be uh, severely mild, I don't know, could be between mild or severe, I don't know the possibility. I would say severe, if you having that trouble moving, just dancing, I would say severe. Yeah, that's, he needs that's to put some meat on his bones, that's what he needs to do. Well, mm -hmm. that too, because you need some proper cartilage and you need some proper muscle. Right, because that is very that's very concerning with him, you know, in that condition. Because I'm just like, y'all know this boy back ain't right. Why y'all letting him doing all these strenuous dances and stuff? He's carrying the weight of SM on his back. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll be more Mark. Mark is the one carrying all them damn groups. He got to carry yeah. his head. He got to carry the group. The man is tired. Right. Mark is done. Mark probably gonna debut in Japan. Oh no! Oh my god! If goodness. they do that, if they put him in NCT Tokyo, I'm done. I'm gonna be pissed because I'm like, you put him in there, but not Shotaro and Shohei and Yuta. They exactly. better put Yuta. If they don't put Yuta in that lineup, I know something. I'm going on strike. Okay. I'm, I'm sending. I'm sending one of them billboard carts down at the SM. <laughs> when is this? You little... want me to help you, sis? Now, when is yes, this? Please. When is this like boy group even supposed to debut? Because they're like they debut this year. I'm like, well, I ain't seen it yet. Where is yeah, that? I thought it was supposed to be this summer. They was out, and now they trying to put out a girl, new girl group. Come SM, what is it like? Come on, Espa ain't even had no full length combat album. Like, well, Espa ain't even had no a full lead album yet. Come on, now. Like, has Asphalt even been out a full three years yet? No, it'll be three in November. November. 
I'm just like, these girls are still wet behind the ears, and you try and bring out a new girl group. What sense does that make, SM? Oh, you know what? You know, keep putting groups, keep putting groups out there until you go bankrupt. So that way we don't have to deal with you. No, go ahead. But, yeah. But you know, that's what they used to do back in like the early 2000s because they had, okay, they had TVXQ in 2004, then Super Junior in 2005, then The Grace in 2006, and then Girls' Generation in 2007, and then Shiny in 2008, and then. Wait a minute, what about S what about S what about S what about S E S? S E S was all the way back in ninety eight. Ninety eight? Yeah, that is the year I was born. But uh HRT which one of them? Was HRT? HRT was ninety six and then Shinwa was ninety seven. S E S was ninety eight. What damn company did Finkel debut in? I do not know. That's the group with Lee Hori in it. I didn't even know. Oh, Lee Hori was in a group? I That's what I just saw. No, she was in that group. I that out the other day. I was like, what? What? Oh, DSP Media. Hmm. That is crazy. SM, SM has a pattern. They have a pattern, and it shows. You know, wait, y'all, y'all, before y'all go say anything, I feel like another scandal is going to pop off again, where, to the point, they going to have a reason to put out this girl group that y'all mentioned in the K-pop chat You today. talking about, a.k.a. the emergency group? Yes. Come on, Charlie. Yeah, this is going to be the, Do your um, thing, Charlie. This going to be the lockdown group. Like, this is basically the group that they're going to put out while the whole company going to have to be on lockdown because everybody's trying to brace themselves for that next impact by the FBI. Mm. Yeah. Damn. They're going like, to get raided. They're going to get raided again. Watch. Yeah. Channel. It Look, this time it's going to be Channel. You're going to have 36 kids. <laughs> thought the first time was something Girl. else. Girl, Nicole. <laughs> I still want to see if this alleged um, collab with him and G Dragon gonna happen. Oh, Me too, yeah. so I can see Rat Monster get sick. Yeah, so I can see Frank Rat Monster Turtle get sick. Rat Monster is gonna cry. He's gonna be like, he you mean to tell me that long legged bitch gotta come up? Ah! Oh, you he gotta he feature gonna, before I did. If that happens, I know he gonna start punching the air. He'll be alright. Like, he didn't get a Jermaine Cole feature or a G Dragon feature, man. He gonna be upset. Right. He got for I mean, real. He did get that Wale. Look, yeah, he, got he got that got Wale. He got Wale. That's but it. you know, man, Wale. Wale. <laughs> Wale don't ever want to see Rap Monster face again, I bet. So don't, oh, and I don't blame him. Yeah, I don't blame Wale for coming back into the K-pop scene, because those armadillos, Lord Jesus, that was awful. Are you doing all this for this mid-ass nigga? Please. Okay. Wow. J-Hope, J-Hope needs to come back out and get a feature with Tinashe. Oh, I know Ooh. that's gonna really make Rap Monster mad. Please, oh, oh. Kalani. <laughs> Ooh, Rap Monster yeah, head is gonna get on the Kalani too. His mm-hmm. head is gonna explode. No, we're waiting for G Dragon to do that collab with Kendrick Lamar, and then he's really gonna shit a bird. That's what I want to mm-hmm. see. No, no, look, G Dragon, Jay Z, Rap look. Monster is gonna explode. That man <laughs> <laughs> There's only so much the man can take. He gonna start trying to throw the table, punch the air, b- break something. I can't. Good. Look, look, look. Bro, it may be a snow chance, no snowball chance in hell, but what if one doesn't actually get a feature with Beyonce? I'll oh, be my goodness. Yeah. It'll be J-Hope before anybody. I promise you that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. He is going to just, oh, my goodness. He he gonna it's, it's, actually, it's, it's, he's gonna come out through his chest. <laughs> Look, the only BTS member I can actually see crossing over is J Hope. He's the only one who got enough talent. Only to the one. rest of them they can't survive on their own. Not even Sugarfoot. 
J Hope is the only one who's gonna probably make it as a solo artist. That's it. That's true. He was that man got his got his um collab with J Cole and went to the army and he's been happy ever since. He ain't complaining. That nigga's happy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Same with Jen. Yep. <laughs> Look, look, when I saw that video and they said Jen ain't got no bottom teeth, I really sat there thinking, I was like, do this man really got bottom teeth? <laughs> I'm pretty Ooh. sure he got bottom teeth. It's just that his bottom lip is so damn big you can't see him, but he got bottom teeth. Cam, this is what Cam yeah. said about Namjoon. He said the descendant of Godzilla will be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lord Cam. Cam. But have y'all heard about this new gene situation? Oh, I've seen it. What happened? Okay, so, um, new jeans. Let me find the poster for it. Because actually, a lot of people are saying it's true, but I think it's not. So, basically, what happened was new jeans dropped the poster for their, um, combat. And basically, it's like, it says ETA, which I think it means was it estimated time arrival everybody else thinks it means that um it's about this like um trigger warning terrorist group which I don't think is freaking true wait a minute that that that's that thing that Hannah po that was a reach now come on now I don't think I don't think that has anything to do with a terrorist group Right. These girls are 15 and 19 years old. These bitches exactly. are not going to be no damn terrorists. I'm sorry. Everybody's like, well, the CEO, y'all, do you really Come think on. this lady's going to set these girls up to sit here and be like leaders of like a terrorist or something? Come on now. Yeah. Right. That was a reach. I don't, that's, no, that, come on, man. <laughs> Right. I don't. That's going a little bit too far. I don't think they're do. That's um, th- they're not doing that. I don't. I don't believe that. Right. But can oh have y'all seen the uh EXO posters? Oh yeah. For their comeback. I'm not, I'm saying Dio looks very scrum dilly yum yum. <laughs> mm. Looks very scrum dilly yum yum. Delicioso. Mm. Yum yum yum. What? Yes, yes. Gobble gobble. Now, what you gobble. think about NCT? Not NCT. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Shiny. What you think about Shiny's new song? I was throwing butt to it. Like wow, throwing butt that? to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cheeks and all. Cheeks and all. I have to respectfully disagree. Says it just ain't it. It just ain't Shiny. That's it, not their style. It isn't. But I, look, yeah. But look. Uh, someone told me, I was like, they gotta be recycling bundles. Because them bundles Taman had in his head look far too familiar. I think I seen I seen them somewhere. It is those got, same bundles that he wore in advice, they just bleached them. That's it. Look, I only got Johnny Bundles in. Stop. <laughs> I seen that, that and I was so upset. I'm like, now who put that in your hair? Now, y'all better leave Johnny out of the uh-uh. It's, it's his weave, sis. His weave's there. <laughs> it's weave. Oh, Johnny, God. Johnny probably said, "Here, Omni, I'll let you borrow these." Oh my God! Ah! You really think he would offer? Uh, would be? Uh, he, you really think he would be cute? Be a uh, con- cu- Um, what you call it? Um, uh, cure like out of cur- out of. Out of coincidence, just gave him those bundles. Like, come well, on. yeah. This is Johnny we're talking about. <laughs> you were really, Johnny, you really, like, be for real. You would think you really think he would do that out of courtesy? Yes. Yes. It's, this is Johnny. Johnny, get the bag. So. <laughs> yeah. Make it clap. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. They have they they have they have to recycle these bundles, sis. It's hard out here for a pimp. It is exactly, yeah. 
or what it could be it could have been some of the hair that Karina broke off from that double bleaching it could have been that hair too no yeah, hey, no. Is this it's so <laughs> guess what y'all Kodak Black that turned himself in after failing to check in with court for a military urine test oh yep I saw that so they got him off the street him for a while so how long he gonna be be up in there I hope they bury him under the jail. So he just gonna make friends with the roaches under there. It ain't gonna be none to him. What you say, babe? Apparently he was messed up on a live. He was on God knows what. Oh, live. Brother in law said the other night he was on live and he was messed up. They don't know what he was on. That's mm. tough. Okay, so y'all tell me what happened. Uh, tonight's episode of Bad Boys because, you know, I wasn't here. Okay, so basically, all right, so basically, Raz is still up there acting stupid, you know, so Jonathan, like, Jonathan hit him in his face. He he was making his face drip and everything, and he was, Raz B was still talking shit. He came into the thing, to the studio with the night till Jonathan popped his ass, and Jonathan was getting on him. Jonathan's like, you ain't gonna be coming in here with that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Jonathan was getting into the ass, and he was, you know, Raz B was looking crazy, looking at the camera, talking about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break the camera, get the camera out of my face and shit. And so, yeah, all that shit happened. They was in the studio, you know. They was getting turned up, but Jonathan was like, I'm over it. I'm about to leave. Like, I, I just can't, which is understandable. So he left and did that. And they was in the studio putting together these wraps made out of toilet paper and chewing gum. Oh, Girl, it was no. awful. They was high as hell, but that shit was funny. So basically that they was doing and Banga, he felt bad because they ain't let him on the song. That should let Banga on the song. Let him right. on the song, right. damn it. Let him on the song. I feel like, so, Banga I feel like he would have did his big one. Yeah, I like Banga. I, I, he grew on me. I like him. <laughs> so so they went to the club. Everybody having a good time. Jonathan comes to the club I'm like, please, Jonathan, don't do it. Don't do it. Jonathan said that, you know, I was a little bit drunk. And so I hit him. I'm sorry. And he hit Rasby. <laughs> and they had to take him out the club. And Rasby was going crazy. Like, he was losing his mind. He was acting weird. It was it was terrible. Yeah. And, you know. Like, he had to have been on something because the way he was just, he was fighting security he was just trying to fight anybody who was trying to help him. Something was wrong. And the girl, he took off his shirt. It was all that taco meat on his chest. I'm like, put that shirt back Ugh, on. Please ew. put it back like on. Like Orlando said, that popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> but I could have I could have sworn Orlando said him and Raz B be doing that stuff. I believe he does that stuff. You know, Orlando be telling the truth. I don't think Orlando be lying. No. Nope. I feel like sometimes his truth be far stretched sometimes, but Orlando be telling the truth. He do. I believe every word that he says. People say he's crazy. I'm like, that man has been in the industry. He's seen some shit. I believe every word this man says. Right. Who wouldn't? Because the shit that goes on in the industry, I believe it. I, I believe it. Raz B, that man had a manic episode. That man. It shouldn't even been on there. He needs help. He needs to continue to heal and get off that show. What he need to do, he need to take it up with Chris Stokes. That's what he need to do. Oh, yeah. Well, uh-huh. Well. The thing is, he let Chris Stokes punk him and try to act like, oh, everything I was saying was a lie. Mm-hmm. Please disregard that. I'm, I apologize. Like, no, you was talking all that big stuff to everybody else, but when it comes to Chris Stokes, you want to back down? What type of power that man got? Right. And then you, uh, oh, speaking of saying power, this nigga was talking about one call. I have this place surrounded. Rasby, no, the fuck you don't. Surrounded with what? What exactly? I, I want to know. Surrounded with what? His imagination. <laughs> exactly. That's all. Nigga, Gonna have you, a bunch of doodle bobs running around. Is that it? Like, oh, nigga, you God. in Texas. Jonathan got more pool than you down there. Jonathan will have your ass laid out. I don't think you need to talk, bro. Shut up. Right. I think Raz B just be so extra for no reason. For no reason, have all that beef for Orlando for what? What Orlando do to you? Exactly. Orlando, like we just had breakfast. Like what's wrong? Right. 
I think he want to do that. He's trying to get like attention and shit. Talking about hit, the, I'm gonna hit the camera, and the camera wasn't even his face, nigga. Like the camera is like far back. Why you keep saying it's in your face? What's wrong with you? Yeah, you know why I'm walking towards the camera, fool. Mm-hmm. He looked like he was gonna cry at one point. I'm like, y'all, let this man go home and cry in the car. I can't. It's just right. Well, he just mad because oh, Orlando Brown is there. I'm watching because Orlando and Jonathan are in there. I'm not watching for nobody else for Orlando and Jonathan. That's basically oh, why I'm watching. Pretty skin. Hey. Pretty skin. Hey. He be getting on my nerves now. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, you know, the light skin was going to do it eventually, sis. <laughs> he just like, look, look, he just, he be getting on my nerves. And like, it's okay. He needs to be who he is and stop lying to these people. The problem ain't Prince. I think Prince is just one of those in down to earth guys who just really is involved with his skin and his nature. I re- I but, like um, Prince. I, I, like, I like Prince. Prince. Prince is funny. He sure is. Prince had me. Remember when Prince fell out that damn chair? He <laughs> <laughs> said we ball. <laughs> I'm like Prince. And, Come then, on and then we had his mouthpiece ready because he thought Prince skin was gonna try to punch him. Ah! Yeah, I got pretty teeth, so I keep a mouthpiece on. <laughs> <laughs> he cool. I like Prince. Like the go ahead and get Prince his own show at this point. He's funny. Hey. But um Mo City, he just be doing stuff for attention. Like, come on now. What like, y'all think know, about Adonis? What what y'all think about Adonis? Adonis is weird. I thought Especially, I was the only one because I was like, he, he, I don't know, he makes me uncomfortable when I look at him. Especially that part with Relly when he was like, basically, like getting on really nerves, like, why you blocked me? This nigga ain't got to tell you why he blocked you. If he blocked you, he blocked you. Y'all grown right. people. Is Adonis gay? Right. I was trying to figure that he might be bi. Cause you know, like Jonathan said, Jonathan he not he said he not gay, he Jonathan. So maybe Adonis is Adonis. Yeah. Well, maybe, but he was really pushing her up on really for whatever reason. I think he may like really, but really was like, I got me a man, I'm good. He said engaged, Ooh. engaged, finna get married, finna get married. You don't know me, ho. You don't know me, ho. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Cause I really hit you, hope. <laughs> That's how he be. You don't know me, hope. I like really. I just want him to change his hairstyle because I'm really tired of that pineapple on top of his head. I'm sorry. And really, is so young too. Really, is like 25. Really. Yeah. Y'all thought he was in his thirties and shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I thought Willie was in his thirties too. That's I <laughs> thought he was in his forties. What girl? I ain't know he was what that y'all old. Think of beef? What y'all think of D and his BBL? I hate oh. you know what? I was just thinking about that. Thank you for bringing that up. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate that toupee and I hate that the damn Oh um, my that's the toupee. And I hate them teeth. I hate them. I can't believe he got to be. I mean, if you if you if you want BBL, that's you go ahead. But it don't look right on him, especially the way his body built. But he ain't got no thighs, none. Like, that's why this looks like a, it just looks like a square back there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't notice it until he, you didn't. We didn't notice it until he started wearing them tights, and I'm like, really? Yeah, like when they was playing football. That's when we really. And I was like, do y'all see that BBL he got when he ran? I'm like, ooh. This ain't the move right here. I was I was appalled by that shit. I think the only person, and as much as I I just really don't like her, the only person I think that has like a nice manageable BBL is Lotto. Because she's surprised when like, hers actually move. I don't know what she did back there, but mm-hmm. hers actually moved. Mm-hmm. So, okay, so she said back in 2020, she got a BBL. And she said that she was going to go for her second round for the surgery. But she decided to just get a personal trainer is what, uh, instead. So she's been working out and managing her weight because 
if you don't manage your weight a certain weight, your BBLs gonna look bad. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. AKA Nikki. Mm-hmm. AKA Jada White. Jada White. I'm sorry. Oh, Jada yeah. Has nasty Summer BBL. Walker. Mm-hmm. Oh, Summer Walker, her best friend. Mm-hmm. Ooh, no, no, that girl. Best friend. Oh, that was terrible. She need to go. T- she need to go get that taken out. These BBLs killing y'all. Oh yeah. And the thighs don't match. Well, well, Tell well. Jesse, Jesse, take that thing out, girl. Oh, so no, Jesse, oh, hers. I'm surprised she embarrassed because hers is just, it's just stiff. It don't move. It, it, it looks right. like two bowling balls back there. I don't understand. It looks like it hurts. It does because she's so skinny. Like how they put that in her in the first place. Mm-hmm. So. It is currently a shit show during this um summer for the basketball, the NBA. All these people are getting traded. I'm not happy. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. You hear, you, you hear? She said so she said that she everybody's getting traded and she's not happy at all. Are you happy about these trades, babe? Oh, He really did need to go. Yeah, it's like the Hawks it. just need to rebuild because they don't know what the hell they're doing. And Trey Young doesn't want to stay there anyway. So I guess everybody's trying to rebuild now. Push out the old, bring in the new. Go to state. Didn't get the memo though. So that is a horrible, that is a horrible like. Trade package they got. You don't get any picks till twenty thirty. How yeah. did that even happen? How did that happen? They traded for two up in water though. And the bad they part, traded all their picks for Bradley Beal. And the problem with what they did is um, the salary cap after um, this season that's coming up. You, um, you can't spend as much money as you do. You get um, you get hit the penalized even harder. That's why Golden State got rid of Jordan Poole. My thing is, they should have got rid of Draymond. Yeah, donkey, donkey, from Shrek has to go. Donkey from Shrek has to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but CP3 is not going to do nothing for Golden State. The problem started when Draymond hit Jordan at practice, and that video got out. It was even said that the younger players wouldn't trust the older players. That's why they were playing fucking shitty all season. And Mm -hmm. then Draymond gets, what, a $100,000 fine and a one-game suspension. Mm. But this man publicly humiliated his teammate and hit him, and that video got out. I don't blame Jordan. I wouldn't want to stay either. Draymond Green, he that man is a is a danger to sports. Like, yeah, there's dirty players out here, but for you to step on somebody's chest like that is ridiculous. It could have killed him. Yes. If that man would have been in cardiac arrest, that would have been it for your career. You had no business stepping on his chest like that. Like he always has to put his hands on somebody. Like, damn. Like, if that's the case, you should have went and, like, took up boxing instead, nigga. So my thing is, Golden State is trying to hold on to this legacy team. It is okay to let people go. It's okay to let people go. I mean, Clay Thompson needs to obviously get traded. Don't nobody want to hear that conversation, though. Clay is not playing the same way he used to play before he got injured. It's the same thing with um, Derrick Rose. Injuries happen. You're not going to play the same. It's time for Clay to go spread his wings somewhere else. He'll be all right. Let the biracial go. Let him go. He he got mm-hmm. Rocco on his boat. He'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> y- 
dog. My thing is. Oh, go ahead, sis. Oh, you can go. I was thinking. No, I was talking about this this submarine, y'all. There was more shit coming out about this submarine, y'all. Oh, this shit, boy. look, they be having, look, they be playing, like, <laughs> this little simulation on TikTok live, and I stumbled upon it this morning, and I was thinking, why me? Why did I have to see this? Now, girl, Bro, what's look. killing me, though, is that these people are fighting over, should they even try to retrieve them or not? Like, why should we, be, people are like, why should we waste our money on this bullshit? Right. There is nothing to retrieve. Them people imploded. Tell me why a couple days ago I get a recommendation on my on my YouTube where Jacksepticeye did a VR game played a VR game of the Titanic. I'm just like, this is the worst timing. Oh y'all, I'm ever. about to post this. I'm about to post this into the Discord. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad this man didn't get on here. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. I, I shit. I'm so glad he didn't get on there. Hold on. Ooh we Oh don't tell me it was the me world. Mr. Beast. Oh, thank gosh. I'm glad Mr. Beast didn't Ooh, get on that. Thank God. Me too. Ooh, thank goodness. Thank God Mr. Beast didn't get on that submarine. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Thank God. Damn, I wish DDG would have got on there. <laughs> <laughs> God. But look, y'all. Look. After, you know, after the nigga said that he don't even wipe properly, he would have been perfect on there. There was a number of buckets. You didn't even have to worry about wiping. Ah! <laughs> G, he is just so musty. Musty. Allie, what do you see in this man? The dick cannot be that good, sis. It cannot. Right. That's actually not no musty dick. Like, girl, you could at least got one that's washed. Right. Them long ass ET fingers, girl. How, girl, it can't be them. <laughs> it can't. Girl, he got them. That's he cool. got them. Kate. He got them. KD Skinwalker fingers, girl. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh, not the oh, ugh, Katie, <laughs> my god. This was tripping me out though. This was tripping me out. The the thing about it is when they went in this and when they went down the water, they was already dead when they went down there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> You're not gonna last, especially how it was built. Like, I was looking at the model, and I was like, this is like, not a little kid could have did better with that. Right. Like, it was built like an old Winnebago. That's basically the size of it. And then the, the remote control took me out. I'm like, are you kidding me? What the, the fuck is Xbox this? Xbox controller. <laughs> that became Atari controller. Like, I, I wonder, like, if it had batteries in it, and, like, did it just die? And, like, they were stranded, and then they imploded. It was a thirty-dollar Logitech controller. That ain't gonna get my support. It was probably running on AAA batteries. I was I only person I feel bad is for that nineteen-year-old child. He didn't even right. want to go. He didn't want to go. He only went, the reason he went because he wanted to, you know, what I'm saying make his dad happy. I'm like, what the fuck? And you know, somebody got mad at me. They sent me a message talking about. You shouldn't have put that on your Instagram of that picture okay. of that of that oh. video. And I'm like, first of all, fuck you. Second of all, I have no sympathy for billionaires that don't listen. These niggas always want to do stupid shit and then, you know what I'm saying, want the government to bail them out. While there's black children missing in the United States, but y'all don't want to do nothing about that. But we want to f- find yeah, these people. countless of black women missing. Countless. Right. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't want to talk about that that shit with all those immigrants that um seven hundred people strong. yeah seven hundred people they can only find a hundred people no it was eighty people that was found a hundred were dead like you don't like don't get in my face about that I don't feel sorry about that and what makes it bad everybody else was white but this dude wasn't white like what the fuck were you thinking he was Middle Eastern I'm like bro why would you do that why. Mm-mm. 
and y'all know this place that that had these submarines and stuff the business has been closed indefinitely i'm mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. well after that i would think so <laughs> like it's been closed indefinitely so. they need to investigate them because why like they need to make it a law that people with that much money can't do stuff like this right Mhm. yeah because they think because they got money they invincible well they find out the hard way they ain't mm-hmm. this is Ooh. this is ridiculous yeah, now nah, i know what i was about to say okay so bro in law what do you think about this trade uh marcus smart going to the grizzlies I just I feel bad for him because you spend nine seasons with this team and they screw you over to keep Jalen Brown. I'm sorry, Jalen Brown needs to go. I'm so sorry. No, not that. Wait a minute, hold on. Click on what? No, not that. You're in the wrong one. Wait a minute. This one? Right there. Click click that one. And what I do? Cash down your field goal and just make sure it ends up in the hole. Your field goal. A dollar? Yeah, just, just well, how to thing. do it? Just a dollar make me holla. Holla. <laughs> okay. Um, hit instinct, just to test it. No, I'm doing this. Um, I had to make a Chime account today because <sighs> cash app on some bullshit. Chime ain't Chime ain't no better. I don't know what to do. I have to do that because no, they better. fucked up cash my cash. Cash up fucked up some shit. They talking about is it a negative? I'm like negative. I'm never in no well, negative. Took money, sis. I took my money out before they could even try me. Like I'm. That's what I'm doing right now. Check it, chime. Because I'm just like I ain't got time for this shit. Like what's like? See when that dude died, crazy shit been happening in the cash app. Y'all think that man? Y'all think that man got killed? He did. Who you think? Who y'all think? Who you think killed that man? I don't know. Probably um. Yeah, think it's what's that man name? Hey, Elon oh, Musk. Can't trust him. Yeah, hey, I wouldn't keep it in mm-hmm. cash out. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so do it. so do that. Cash, cash out. out. Okay. I'm gonna hit instant and uh, see or whatever, and then he'll get the rest. Y'all, okay, so I watched the Keisha Cole documentary, the little biopic. Oh, I should have, I need to watch it. How is it? Was, it? it was actually very good. Keisha played herself very well. Did, did, she, did, did she talk good. about, like, Frankie and stuff? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, they talked about Frankie, okay. her sisters, her love life, everything. I actually didn't know Keisha wrote love back in 2001 really oh wow yeah so she, yeah she had all her hit songs she wrote were written back in 2001 but because it was so hard for her to get like a record deal yeah that um the songs like she would send them out to record labels for like demos and stuff and nobody would get back to her well, this one dude finally got back to her like a year later after she gave him her demo um CD, and he signed her. And then a year later, she got um she recorded the stuff, and like she was a big hit and stuff. Keisha loved her mama like she never gave up on her mama. I know. I yeah. saw that the love was there. Yeah, she tried everything, but that shit that it just that was a hard addiction for her to just give up. Yeah. Like even when Nessie told her to give up, like her mama wasn't gonna be there for her. Like Frankie would show up. She was she was drugged out, but she was gonna show up regardless. On that stuff. Mm-hmm. She ain't sell no fish place though. I was sad. Mm-hmm. I thought they were gonna put that in the biopic. Of course he ain't gonna put that in there. <laughs> I wonder did they she cook them fish plates? Did she cook them fish plates? Yeah, apparently, yeah, right there in the parking lot. 
Well, she she said she cooked. She was cooking for um, cause they talking about her relationship with Daniel Gibson, and um, what he did, cause he had cheated on her, and that's why they got divorced. Yeah, and then she got with Birdman, and then Birdman cheated on her, and then she got in a fight with the girl. Like, oh my goodness, damn. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I love that song. I should have cheated. Y'all don't, don't do I that. I love that song. <laughs> Dang oh. man, I gotta watch that movie. Uh, yeah, as long as you know, what I'm saying like it was on Lifetime, right? Or yeah, it was on Lifetime. Okay, that's what's up. I gotta check that out. Okay. You know, I want. Yeah, you know, what I want an unsung done on on total. Cool. Total. Oh, yes. you mean the group that um tried to jump Wendy Williams' ass? Yes. <laughs> what? I, yeah, girl, yeah, you know pulled, that happened. They pulled up. They no. pulled up the radio station ready to beat Wendy ass. Yeah, bit, so Pam, Pam you know Pam. They wanted to beat up Wendy. I even remember Method Man was mad at her because um she was saying personal thing about his wife. Man, everybody. Oh, you talking about Wendy. that video, baby? Yeah. Method Man looked so fine. He was mad too. He like, you ain't gonna talk about his wife like a real man. That's right. He was, he was questioning that white woman. He said, you know, that white man, he said, well, who told you this? How did you find out? He was so calm, too. A calm man is a, a fearful man to be scared of. Oh, yeah. He wanted to make sure he had all his facts straight before he went off. That's what it was. Right. <laughs> you know, and from Tola, you know, Pam be going to the gym, so Pam was ready to beat that ass. I was like, oh, shit, you, you ain't gonna make it. But yeah, man, I want to uh-huh. see Tola on the Unsung because I really like that group, man. But of course, old P shitty screwed him over as usual. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Pam you know, had a very want- unique voice. Pam did. I yeah, liked her voice. Y'all yeah, wanna know who I want, like, a biopic done on Mary J. Blige. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. She got so much that she needs to say to the world. Yes. Yes. She please. gonna make sure them boots get featured too. Please. Oh, every single oh, one of them. I'm surprised she hasn't tried to make her own boot line yet. Shit. Bro, I'm right. surprised too. I hope she I boot hope line she, at first hope. Yes. I hope she's the I hope she's the next one to get her life to get a lifetime achievement award or did she get it already? They do well, either way. I think she got one already. I think oh, she got one already. She did. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. But um yeah. I I really want her boots. Like, come on, sis, drop the drop the boot blueprint, please. Ooh, Mary said want she her. wanna be she just she don't want no kids, she just wanna be the rich auntie. And I said, I understand, sis. Because her ex husband is a piece mm-hmm. of shit. Like I was like, what her ex husband piece of shit and her and his daughter, child, her daughter mad. The, her daughter is still his daughter is still mad at Mary because he she won't claim her like that. Like you're her stepdaughter. She doesn't really have to have a relationship with you. Girl, be quiet, Brianna. Shut the fuck up. She gets on my nerve on growing up hip hop. I'm like, girl, shut up. What do I care about you? Mm-hmm. And then Casey from Jodeci did her dirty, like, you know, Mary was going through it. She was. Mm-hmm. Poor Mary. The pain be coming out her in her songs, y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, dang, what was I about to say? I to say something. Y'all want to know a, a biopic I want to see? One on X- Xscape. Man, Lord, oh my Lord. goodness! But Latoya and Latasha ain't talking right now. Really? Yeah, the sisters are going at it. Yeah, now. before it was Candy versus the sisters. Now the sisters got problems. Yeah, mm. La- Ta- Latasha owes Latoya money. Owes her money, mm. and then lied about it. And La- Latoya had all the receipts. Mm. So stay Tasha, on. she is such a snake, bro. She is. And then try to blackmail her sister about her sex tape. Her sister said, I ain't ashamed of my sex tape. I look very good with in it too. Mm. But, but how are you like, gonna do that to your sister though? Why would you even want to expose your sister like that? That's And trying. then her husband like 
Natasha husband was watching it as well. I'm like, don't you think that's strange that your husband was watching your sister's sex tape? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Why? Why? Why would you do that? And you know, as much as Candy get on my nerves, she was bringing out her receipts and stuff. She was like, well, this is what really <laughs> happened and this the things. And I was like, okay, girl. All right, sis. <laughs> Every man was a woman. Yeah. Back and just give up a good man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I can't. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Until this day, her mama still don't like Todd. I'm like, what has this man done to you? Talking about, oh, hopefully he gets a job. Like, he been had a job. Todd was a producer on, um, uh, damn, what's that show, that show name? Real Housewives of Atlanta, but he couldn't, like, him and Candy couldn't be married and him be a producer on the show at the same time. So he had to stop being a producer. So he can marry Kenny. Hmm. But they still together, so she's 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 must love him. She is she's happy. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna need him to be honest and tell his wife to stop singing. Oh god. She's a very good songwriter, but damn it, Candy. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. Hang it up. But wait, 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 wait. She kind of Mm, I love you not say nothing. No, no. Go ahead and say it, sis. She gives we we, we uh, America over actually, here. Everybody she listen. Can, she can she could actually sing a little bit. I'm sure <laughs> if she was one to sing like a crying goat, go ahead. <laughs> she can't sing, sis, at all. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. It's all it's okay, sis. It's all right. It's it's okay. We love you, sis. It's, 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 okay. she, just, she just can't see. Okay. Y'all remember the song, My Little Secret? I was laughing so bad. I'm like, she up here sounding like a damn chipmunk with that high note. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just couldn't take it. I was just, the whole time she was singing, I was getting mad. She was like, she, oh, no, God, no. <laughs> Hot she mess. did her things with no scrubs and bills, 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 I guess. For real? She wrote with no scrubs and bills, bills, bills. Yeah, yeah. Her and yeah. Tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's a real so good, she's a know? really good, like, talented songwriter. <laughs> you know, I can't take that away from her. She can write some songs, but as far as trying to sing, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all think Beyonce, when she heard that demo from Candy and um, Tiny, too? Do y'all think she was probably like, she don't need, hold on, I gotta do my Beyonce voice. <clears throat> I gotta stop, because I'm, I'm about to laugh when I'm gonna do this. I don't know who told her to do this, but I'm gonna need Candy to not sing no more. I like the song, but Candy don't need to sing no more. My ears hurt, Julius. Oh my goodness! Oh God. <laughs> you know I gotta, I gotta add that Julius in because Julius be everywhere. Hmm. Did y'all watch the BET Awards? Oh, I did. Yeah, I we talked about it today. It. Yeah, we were talking oh. about the little Uzi and the um and the, the um, JT Jay Z situation earlier. Yeah. And really, JT, no, she still love that man. That that that's a weird relationship, a weird pairing, to be honest. Mm. Oh, look, two little people just don't need to be together. I'm sorry. Short, little Uzi is a uh, short. He's just too little. They are just too little. My bad. They are just too little, and JT. Mm. JT is JT. But we were, like, we were saying about Ice Spice, because she was being messy, and we was trying to give Ice Spice advice. I was like, bars. Th- them some bars right there. But I was saying, Ice Spice, look, look, sis. Uh, you, you, you hanging out with Nikki, and you getting this little mean girl persona. Nikki's gonna be your downfall, so I suggest you fall back and stop. 
because ain't nobody gonna fuck with you with this little attitude like you young like come on sis like don't don't do this don't do this and it's it's I going love, it's, it's going to happen and i like I, her but that's i but, like her music like it's just it'd be so cool i like when she be bending over doing her little dance because i can't do it i be trying to do it mm-hmm. but like she she got a career going for her i mean she different from all the rap girls I mean, she just reached a billion views on Spotify, so she wants that to keep going. I suggest that she stop listening to Nicki. Yeah, Nicki's gonna, then, yeah, um, Nicki's gonna be her downfall if she don't stop. She, she's one of the only girls I can say in the game right now that's just got like a natural body. Yeah, that's all she, hers. She's, she, she, she was an athlete. She was a de- um. She went to school to play volleyball for one year, and then she said she didn't like it, so she stopped. Mm-hmm. And she was destined for greatness. I mean, she was a New Year's baby. Yeah. She was born in, she was born in the year 2000, January 1st. Mm. She, was, she was destined for greatness. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully Nikki but don't I need like... her to stop hanging around Nikki. Just remove her so from her unfortunately she signed with her with this partnership so they god damn yeah well then they did they the... oh i'm sorry they oh, did no, the bar... they... okay fuck they i they did a collaboration for the barbie movie so that song is trash and princess diana also trash yeah but just with the nikki version is trash I think AE thinks both versions are trash. <laughs> oh, oh, I, was, I didn't want to say it, but you know what? You read my mind. I didn't want to say it, but it's thank okay. you. they're both I trash. Understand. Because I like yeah. I like Ice Spice. I I just need her to start venturing out and doing different stuff because you know all her shit is starting to sound the same. Like her sound yeah. with Pink Panther, uh, Pink Panthers. I think I to do more music with her. Yeah, I like yeah. that song. Now that was nice, but like it's you, it's starting to get this, it's starting to sound like the same, and you know, because you know she does the New York drill rap, and that's cool. But you know, it's just when it gets repetitive, I'm just like, okay, you you got to venture out now. I I need um I need more Young Nudie and Twenty One Savage. You, when you, you were not at the music party when that Look. song Eggplants and Peaches came on. You were not in the chat when that came on. I'm like, where are you? Forget, I'm trucking by myself. Where, I where were I? Look, you I, I, at the Waffle House? I, yes, I was at the Waffle House. <laughs> oh, girl. I forgot where I was. And then I had to remember I was at Waffle House. I was like, damn. It's like, I had to wait like 30 minutes for my food. What you get? I got a uh, a bacon egg cheese sandwich with some cheese in it. Oh. <laughs> and they were busy, so that's why it took long. They you, had one person cooking. Why you didn't call in before you got there? It was a last minute decision. Oh. Now you Niggas don't be thinking. <laughs> 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 That sounds good. I had what I had this morning, y'all, for breakfast this morning when I went to work. I had somebody made me a steak, egg, and cheese bagel. Girl, I Ooh. tore that shit up. Ooh. That was so good. I got me some strawberry it's jam. The, I fucked that shit up. Was it like, was it extra cheese on there? Yes. Even though, oh my, my, God. Even though my stomach was mm-hmm. boiling, because y'all know how I am with dairy products. I fucked that shit up. It was so delicious. I don't want y'all stomach like ooh, 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 ooh. It sure was. <laughs> I mean when we come in we can make anything we want in the morning or ask somebody to make it and I you know the other time I got some pancakes. They were good. I did not like the eggs because it was the um it wasn't like the, the carton of eggs, it was like the eggs that you pour out and I I don't like those. They tasted very nasty. It was like vegan eggs. Some shits are gross. But um, Ew. wait. Yeah. Are you talking about what's that brand name of vegan egg? No, it was just a regular old basic horrible egg. It was just tasted nasty. But yeah, I think oh. Jeremy got rid of it. But yeah, all the food is like really good. That steak, egg, and cheese bagel. 
It's really good. We do omelets. We do French toast, pancake platters. We do all types of sandwiches. We do like a Philly cheese. We do like a a a Philly cheese. Like it's called a mac shrimp concoction. It's like a Philly cheese but with shrimp in it. That shit is so good. It's got Creole mm, mayonnaise in it. Oh my god, it's so delicious. That sounds good. I would like to try that. The shrimp Philly cheesesteak. That sounds good. It, it's anyone. It's hot and it's nice and it, it. They had that food out quick too and it's nice and they take they take their time presenting it on the plate and stuff. It's good. I like it. Has anyone tried the just the um the just plant based egg scramble? Nope. No. No. Look, Ew. look, the day I no. become a vegan is the day I'm going to become a Jehovah's Witness. Same here. I'm sorry. I like chicken wings too much. Exactly. I'm go, I, I love meat. I'm sorry. Meat to meat to wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love chicken too much. I had tried, I mean, the, what is it? The, the, what is the burger? The Beyond Burger, the one they had that I got from this restaurant. That was delicious, but as far as like eating vegan food in general, like if you want to do it, that's cool. It ain't for me. I I really like chicken wings a lot. My mama tried to get me to try some some damn vegan plant based uh chicken tenders, and she was like, it tastes just like chicken. I bit into that shit and I spit it out. I said, don't ever talk <laughs> <insult> me <laughs> ever again. Oh my god, I am too much of a Negro. I yeah, know you don't taste like no chicken. As soon as I bit into it, I love chicken too much for you to play in my face like that. You seen them viral videos of people eating those wonton sticker um chicken? It's like chicken, but it's made out of wonton stickers, and it looks like a piece of chicken. You bite into it. If somebody served me that, everybody's getting taken out in that room. You don't deceive me with chicken like that, bro. What is it like? Um, you remember that little watermelon thing they used to do? It was like hot dogs or something like that. Yeah, it was warm. It was a few years ago, and they were like cooking. It was, was it a burger? I think it they was a like burger. Cooking. I think it was a burger. But I was like, if somebody ever do that, some shit like that to me, and I bit into it, and it was a fucking watermelon. I'm shooting everybody. I don't give a damn. Watermelon burgers, like I'm sorry, that sounds very what? racially. No, it was a steak. That's now I remember. It was a steak. Watermelon steak. Yeah. And they were serving that to Negroes. Yeah, that was very racially energized. You know, very stereotypical. I tried <laughs> vegan hot dogs one day. I was like, let me see how they taste. I was, I was appalled. <laughs> so disgusting i'm like okay i mean you know i'm trying to do like the you know try to take on the vegan lifestyle to try and get myself to you know to eat better and do better with my health nutritional health but if that you know i'm not shaming anybody that you know that you know care that really likes to eat you know authentic food yeah. that's fine no, no, that's you what are, you do. You know, you we we support you on that because you you the only one in that house is trying to eat right. Right. Yeah. You just take care of yourself. Sis. Here he go. He's starting to cut up now. He was quiet. Who? Dylan. Dylan. Dylan Brooks. He, you know, he was the one that called the bro old, and then he ran off the court. After the um the well, Grizzlies lost the uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> after they, uh they lost what was it the round one of the playoffs? Lord Jesus, he is old, y'all. LeBron got to retire. Reti his his last year needs to be his last year. Like CP three, there needs to be they last year. Damn it, I'm sick of it. Y'all need to be at home tending to with them. the kids. Yeah, getting surgery in them toes. Bro, I need more people to be like Timmy. Timmy got his rings, won his uh, MVPs, his finals MVP, retired and left. Timmy somewhere working on the cars, getting ready for summer league so he can be an assistant coach again. 
Mm. If y'all don't know it who Kenny Coy LeBron just need to retire. The man's 38 years old. He about to hit 40. Like before his knees give out on him, he needs to retire. Hold on, what mm-hmm. D-Lo said, ain't you gonna be 39 this year? You still got time, LeBron. D-Lo somewhere still putting up shots. <laughs> yeah, this is, he needs to retire. I mean, there's nothing wrong with retiring. You know, put your feet up. You could be a sports analyst at this point. You, you him, and him, this is what needs to happen. LeBron, you know what I'm saying? And um, what's his what's his name? Oh, I forgot his name. Uh, oh my goodness, I gotta look for this man name. Just just go ahead, you know what I'm saying? And just basically just. Just have have his own podcast at this point. Ten had what if LeBron don't want to retire because he's free of Kyrie? You know what? Hmm. That makes sense. I think he might be scared of Kyrie. You know, Kyrie quiet. <laughs> he don't say shit. He just be sitting there looking. Kyrie! Kyrie! <laughs> <laughs> In the corner with his ring on, <laughs> <laughs> and he had his head down. To leave. <laughs> I just wanted to be a star. <laughs> he had his I head. just wanted to be a star. <laughs> Do you know? Oh, that's who his name. So LeBron and Doc Rivers should just go ahead and sit down and have their own podcast. Two old men that's losing their hair. That's what it needs to be called. Cause he ain't got Doc no hair. Just needs to give it up. He do. Doc won one championship. One. How many how many times has he been fired? Oh, you see, he was fired from Orlando. Mm-hmm. Then he was fired from the Clippers. <laughs> then he was fired from the Celtics. Boston. Yeah. Then he was fired from the 76ers. So it's like four teams, four or five teams. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At this point, it's not it's not the team. It's him. He <laughs> he ran Ben Simmons away. But Ben was already finished with uh, Philly before it even started. So, yeah, so I guess he did something right. I know. I look. I was looking through my pictures the other day, and I saw the picture of Ben laughing on the uh, the damn sideline with his teammates when Philly was getting their ass blown out. Oof. Uh uh-uh. uh. This basketball season, I guess, that's coming up is going to be really good. You know, some people are delusional, like that boy who got drafted by the Hornets said the Hornets was going to the finals. Oh, oh Lord. No. No. They're not going to, they're not, no. They're not going to go to the finals. I'm sorry. They send you to the Hornets or to the Pistons if you, um, if you ain't going nowhere with your career. Why is hot? It's hot. It's hot, and I'm mad right now because it's hot. It's just it's got hot. So it's, hot it's, it's still 86 degrees over here. Oh, oh, the, sun is down. Down. the sun is it's down, hot. and it's still hot. Oh my goodness! Hot no. summer, a hot, 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 hot summer. summer, hot summer. I, I miss hot, those hot. girls. Me too. <laughs> Not you, Amber. We miss the yeah, other. Yeah, not, not her. Not her. We do not miss little Applebee's. I don't miss her. <laughs> Good old two for twenty. Right, dude, we got the meat. I'm just shocked. I really, you, y'all. Wait a minute. Did you say Arby's got the meat? <laughs> yes. That's what I said. I'm shocked, y'all. Something in my head just convinced me that Amber was like in the closet and that Amber was dating women. Right, me too. Right. Is this her tomboy persona? Like, I wouldn't say that she's necessarily in the closet. She could just be one of them rough tomboys. Yeah. That's what she looks like. I, she, she look. She says she be fucking with dudes and shit. Yeah. She do. That's what she dudes, did. what type of dudes, Amber? I don't know. Because there's different type of dudes to be fucking with. Well, it, remember, remember when she allegedly got pregnant by Shin Dog? Girl, that took oh, me to oh fuck out. That well, took me to fuck off. out. She got mad. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want nobody. I was like, oh, you mad. You must really was fucking him, sis, were you? Why are you mad? <laughs> 
like you you a little bit too like uh, um like emotional about this were y'all fucking around or some shit hunching i feel like you gotta just be desperate to hunch on him the fact that he got a girlfriend him got a girlfriend well you know he was engaged at one point it has to I'm be the money. I'm surprised he made it that far. Engagement? It has yeah. to be the money. It has to be the money. Cause it's I, them taking all the money. So what money? Well, <laughs> you know, look at that everything. Dog. I would mm-hmm. rather... Look at that dog. They need to have, like, a warning. If you look at him, your pH balance is going to be thrown off. Oh, my God! <laughs> that should be said about Nick Cannon. Ugh. Like, look, like, I, I, Shindong, I don't, you, I would rather shave my breast with a cheese grater than, than sleep in bed with him. Ain't no way. It, it has to. I would rather, I would rather rain, melt my breast off with his hot ass breath <laughs> and sit here and never come in contact with Shindong. I'm sorry. Like, what is it? Like. Like, it has to be, I don't know. I don't know what it is at this point. Really he probably don't. like, he probably like, I can get you tickets to see EXO backstage. Oh, my goodness. Oh, stop. And, you know, I will fall for it, too. Anything you to see don't. my D. <laughs> Anything you to don't. see my D.O., I guess. No, oh, no. you don't want to see Suho and his titties no more? Yeah, I do want to see Suho and his titties, but you know, I got to lay low because Minho. <sighs> what you do now? What did you do? What you do, sis? He's still Look. on the run? Look. Look. So, I didn't know that Cheetahs was doing a special in Korea. <laughs> I didn't know. Pier guns, that damn pier guns. I always want to do something, catch somebody cheating, his cheating ass. So me, and you know, me and Chanya was on a date, damn it. And we was eating, we was we was at the uh, the karaoke place, and we was just singing, we was singing, singing, and then Beyonce came up, and I was trying to do a strip tease. All I know is. Damn door open. Pure guns ass walk in. Here come walking behind him, men ho. I'm thinking, <laughs> oh shit, I done got caught. So I had to sit here and say that um I had to tell them that I was telling your vocal coach and I was trying to <laughs> help him. Oh my god. <laughs> you Cause you know, Beyonce is on tour, so in case like she stopped in Korea. I was going to help him, like, like get ready for the concert, and I was going to, like, teach him the set list of, like, all the songs she was going to sing and, like, how he was supposed to hype up Blue Ivy. Minho wasn't going for it. So then he started flipping over the tables and shit, and, like, it was a random bottle of empty soju, like, sitting on the table, and he had a bucket, and he was like, he wasn't having it. He was like, I'm going to cut somebody, and I told him, I said, well, Chanel, can't really sing like that, so cut him instead. So then I like I ran, and here this nigga go, Kai. I guess he was on vacation. He didn't get out to like the military for like a little vacation. He talking about so where you going? And I said, you know what, Minho wants to see you, so you can go in there, and I'm gonna go this way. And I was running, and I was running. I had to find shelter, and it was one place I could only go. Where? The basement of JYP. Oh, no, sis. Oh, no. I was down there. I was down there with Day 6 and Stray Kids. Oh, no. Oh, you no. were not at the SM dorms? No, nah, he was going to find me there. That's the first place he's going to be I looking. T- you could have told me I could have took. I, I would have vouched for you and took cover until you were gone. You should have hit by. You should have hit by. You tried to vouch. Girl, what, you, the last time you tried to vouch? And you, you got us caught up. Remember? I had to flee the country. You had to flee the... Because you, you said that I was with... I was with um Pei Chun. I was really with Chandler. 
So this man said, saw H at the convenience store and was asking about me. And H said, she ain't with me. She with your mother. And oh so my he got, he, look, man hall looking for you. He said it's over when he see you. So what? What? You, you better, you, you better <laughs> run too, sis. Sis, you was supposed to be the alibi. Oh, God. <laughs> No, please don't kill me. <laughs> he ain't gonna, look, he ain't gonna kill you, but he got them Tims on, sis, so. Oh, Tims? <laughs> yes. I, I, I messed around and bought him a pair of Tims one time. Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> this is exactly why I can never go shopping with you when you bring men home around. Look, look. They were on sale. And you and you use that as an excuse to buy the man Tim's. Okay. Men, men ho need new shoes. Look, and he be trying to play soccer in his his um his church shoes. And I told him he can't be doing that no more. Not, Not the church shoes. No man. Look, I, <laughs> man, go what? Go buy him some bands. I did, but you know, men ho, he like. He like a Flintstone. He be running out of them. So, you know, oh. it's hard. You're right. I can't blame him for being active. Active in the bedroom or just active in general? I just active, active outside active. Oh. In the streets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So now I have convinced Minho that I'm hanging out with Taeyeon. I don't like that bitch. I don't know why he oh, believes me. Why are you? Then you don't have to lie like that, sis. You know. Yes, I do. With Minho, I do. What? Okay, okay. now. Because I want to be. Because I want to be a city girl, and I can't be a city girl if you're around. Okay. I'll hold you. I'll hold you to that. He thinks I'm out here hanging out with Taeyeon. I'm really out here in the streets club hopping with Kiho. My nigga. <laughs> and not Haechan? Well, I, I think you may need to let Haechan rest for a while. Hell no. Haechan got Haechan got June K fired from the Popeyes. I, I never, <laughs> look. June K. This is what happened. Oh, June K was getting that fat chick right. And hey, Chun ass just had to fuck it up. So the food inspector and stuff, they came to inspect the restaurant and everything was going fine till they caught this nigga Hey Chun smoking in the in the freezer. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so then he was like, he bought the stuff from June K, which ain't true. He bought it from Ilhun. And Ilhun don't even work there. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> From Ilhun, Lord. I don't know who. Like, Ilhun don't even work there, but Ilhun got a job there. I don't know how. This nigga how he got a job, rest. but he don't work there, though. This is, look, this nigga just had a uniform on at the register, and nobody hired him. Oh, he the plug. Yeah. He the pl- he, he the plug there, so he just showed with a uniform on, and he make his money and leave. You know, he's like the mobile uh, pharmaceutical man. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Giving out the pharmaceutical goods. Yeah, he sure do. He said, he he said, if the bag ain't stankin', don't smoke it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, ew. So, June K got fired from that Popeyes. Don't worry, June K got five different other jobs at other different Popeyes. So, he said he didn't really worry about that one. He working at the Circle (laughs) K? He he got, he done kept that job for at least a week. He had the Circle K, he had the Quick Trip, he had the Kroger, mm-hmm. the Publix, he had the, um, the um, Walmart. Oh. He worked, he, uh, where else he worked at? Did he work at Publix? Yep, he worked at Publix at the deli section. He be making them fire-ass sandwiches, too. Don't ask him, look, if he say get the June K special, don't get it. Trust me, just don't get it. Don't look if he say something about it, just ignore him. 
and just ask for your one specific order that you want. If you get the June case special, you're going to wake up. Joe and Pete going to be strip teasing in front of you. Oh, God. It's... Oh, girl. Mm. That is... Mm-mm. Well, I won't ask. Don't ask, please. Oh, my gosh. My black people, y'all need to go see the black man. I oh, see my it. goodness. I'll, I'll be seeing it this movie. week. Yeah, I'm going to be huh? seeing it this week because I've been working and stuff and I haven't had a chance to see it, but I will be seeing it yes. this week so we can all discuss yes, it. Yes, please. Because yes. like, we please. got to talk about this. Cause I'm we got to talk about it. I've, I've I'm already still seen I've already seen it, so I've got lots to talk about. So look, look, we be talking about it in the other um in the movie store too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like them niggas had to be weak. Mm-hmm. My, I will say, my nigga Clifton. Mm-hmm. And as much as they Loki were proud of him, deserve better. Loki Clifton did deserve better. Yeah. He did. He did. They did him wrong. But that nigga was doing some real nigga shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my like, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Like, when, when he was like, when they were like, you weren't even invited. And I was like, oh, they got his ass now. Mm-hmm. That's some real nigga shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Going where you unannounced, going unannounced and uninvited. Yep, just like a nigga. Yep. Mm, 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 mm. Oh man, this has been a good show. We got like forty-seven minutes left, but I'm gonna cl- call it a night because I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really tired, man. I have to. I have tomorrow off though, so that's good. I have tomorrow yeah, off, good. and I gotta work. Yeah, yeah, what are we gonna I, cut up about on the um on the live? We are gonna roast SM. I mean, it, it, something's gonna happen. Yeah. It's gonna happen either tonight. Something's gonna happen, or tomorrow. Something always happens. It just it just happens. Lee Sullivan has upgraded from uh a bottle of red wine to a forty ounce. Girl, he'll put drinking two eleven out the black can. Oh. Louis Suman is laughing at home. And I his know he is. He's, he's laughing in his bathrobe. His keep prop his feet propped up on the coffee table. He's watching everything go down. Like I tried to tell y'all. This man but y'all made know, it. y'all voted me out. This man made a consulting firm or company. And, and, and with these with with these angel investors, these private investors, so it's like People giving you money to open this firm now. Okay. So he ain't worried about that. Lee Suman gonna find a way to make him some money. Even when he's dead, he's still gonna have money, so. Sound like a like, pyramid scheme. So like Lee Suman did a, like he's not too worried about SM. I feel like he did a loophole. Somewhere mm-hmm. in that company, he's done something. And later on, it's gonna come back and bite them in the ass and be like, oh shit, like we should have really never fired this nigga. Now we fucked up. Yeah, the nephew, I feel like he's already feeling it. Because that man went from the CEO to the mail room to working in the cafeteria to now he's like, what? Creative as hell. I don't know where he's at now. I'm like, you, you just my thing, a mess. My thing is 40 albums. In one year, like everybody has to put out an album, and they have to produce forty albums for the whole company. Not every group has to produce forty albums in one year. It's like, like one group can do one album or something like that. But it's like real, uh, realistically, that's not gonna happen. They want too much. Gonna put out a bunch of ten second songs. Like, they just want too much from these groups for no apparent reason. Which, these idols have recorded probably hundreds and hundreds of songs. Just release the songs and let these people go on hiatus. And by the way, 
Um, this damn AT's thing is fucking sick. Those K tinies don't they deserve did them dirty. Nothing. Like they always shit on AT's in Korea. The fact that they did all that, gave you gifts, let you touch them, spent all that time with y'all, and y'all couldn't even support them, and then the gifts y'all gonna go and sell them on pretty much eBay? Like, that wow. was some disrespectful and you, shit. I, I don't blame ATs for not fucking around with Korea no more. Y'all got an international fan base over here. That's why they keep coming over here, and I don't blame them. We young look so hurt. He was so hurt. I was hurt for him. 12 our votes. Deal. When I seen 12 votes, I was like, really? They put like their that's all they're worth years. to you. That's all they're worth. Mm. And they're way they're making way more money over here than they are in Korea. I've noticed a lot of idols like to come over here and promote because they're making way more money in um, than they do in Korea. Like I don't. It's like they get to keep a lot of that money towards themselves. Yeah. They just sleeping on, just like how they did Luna. They doing the same thing to ATs, and I'm just like, it's whatever. But you know, they I have mean, broke- the way that they treated them on um, Kingdom. This treated them like garbage. I ain't like that. I'm like the most talented, one of the most talented groups of this time. Y'all, Korea just, y'all just don't see talent, man. Like y'all got these horrible ass boy groups out here screaming and shit. Drake lost the lost children with that horrible and ass try, video. And groups trying to be the trying to be trying to imitate NCT, but can't even devour the choreo to the seven cents properly. Are you talking about that? Um, that from that um survival show. Yes. What was it? Was was it um Boys Planet? Oh my god! When they did that, I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Which I get, Seven Cents is a very hard song to cover, but it's not that to the point where it's like that bad that you can't sing to it. My thing is, these companies set these people up. They get these real pretty boys to go up on these um these survival shows knowing damn well they cannot sing, they can't dance, and they have no training, um prior training before they go on these shows. Just to go up there and embarrass themselves. Mm-hmm. And it is embarrassing. The fact that there was even a group that came out of that nonsense. Like, who going to support them? Who? This group is trash. Right. The group is just trash in general. All it is is just, like, fan service and shit. And then, like, the... Oh, my God. I, Korea has a problem. Like, the, like, what is going on with the mediocre music, man? Right. It's just like we slowly start start to break down like at the beginning of fourth gen, but it's just like fifth gen. I have no hope. Have no hope. At all. Yeah. But that's fine. Exo's coming back to save the day, I guess. Man, they can't even save themselves at this point. Exactly. I wonder how much money they had to cough up. For them three boys to stay. So that had to be a shit ton of money. Can don't nobody just recant their statement. Right. Like that. That probably had, I'm thinking that was probably like damn near close to a million dollars or a couple mil they had to cough up. Man, if they fold it for a couple mil that they could easily make on their own, I'll be mad. Mm. Well, That's I, it. I, I can understand why Chin did it, cause the man has two kids and a wife. But as for Schumann and Barbar, y'all can afford that risk. Mm-hmm. I don't know what made them. I don't know what what's going on. Like, if some shit's going to be revealed sooner or later. Tax evasion. Taman said yeah, he we pays know his that. taxes. <laughs> Taman said he pays his taxes, so he he good. Oh, for this EXO comeback, I'm not gonna be buying shit, but I'll listen. They can get a view. That's it. Oh, oh, the new girl group that's debuting, Kiss a Life. Y'all know Natty. 
that's the group she's gonna be in. Yeah. I love her solo. Me too. I remember she was on sixteen. I be break dancing to her solo song. Is that the group yeah. that Sade's named after? Yeah, Sade. that's the group that's named after Sade's song, Kiss of Life. I don't, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like it either. Like, like leave that. black folks alone. Which Natty's solo is the only um good solo. Mm-hmm. I feel like they should have just gave that to her as like a a comeback song instead of putting her in a damn group. This girl already debuted as a soloist. What more do you want from her? Mm. Mm-hmm. Stay in Luna Odd Eye Circle. Yes, My ma'am. Girl they're going to have their comeback. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, My too. Girl free. But you know, but you know, Blockberry is still like, we still got cases against them. And they gonna have to come back, and they gonna have to work. Give it the fuck up. No one cares. Exactly. Like you gonna be broke because they left. Everybody done exposed you and what y'all did to Chew. Like leave it alone. That was fucked up. Kicking Chew out. Talking about from she was bullying people. No, and the fuck then she did, was what, it? What fucked them? What fucked them up is what um. Uh, when the uh, staff member was like, she went bullying us. I was like, the fuck is wrong with y'all? This will happen. Her mama, I don't know, child, chew mama, chew mama, cool as hell. Chew mama was like, where my child's money? That's what she wanted to know. Where was the money? That's all she wanted to know. Where is the money? And they couldn't come up with no answer, so they got mad. Like, she had every right to say, ask for that money, ma'am. Uh-huh. Them girls ain't get paid since 2016 when they all debuted as a group. Come on, man. That's sad. Like, them girls been working for free for seven years. Seven years. I ain't got no money. I ain't seen no money. They wouldn't even let them babies go outside, bro. No. But yeah, because Eve said during, what was it, the Idol, a champ, Olymp- uh, uh, idol Championship, she's like, What's something you want to do? She said, we want to go outside. What? Go outside? Wow. That's crazy. Dang, they didn't they even... never had any creative freedom. No. Mm-mm. All they wanted to do was just like, they had to hide the food and shit while they was eating it because they found chicken bones. And VDs and Hostel's room, and they was yelling at them. I'm like, damn, they can't eat no chicken. The fuck? Mm. And then Cherry and Yijin, they were getting bullied by people online because people was calling them ugly. Blackberry created wouldn't do shit about it. I said, okay. And then they wouldn't let Vivi visit her home. Vivi hasn't seen her family since two since 2017. Nope, 18. Is when she's last seen her family in Hong Kong. She just went back to see them. So it's just all these shitty ass companies. Uh, Blockberry. Uh, what is it? DSP. DSP. One of them too. Hell um, yeah. Uh huh. T- uh, TS Entertainment. Fuck them. Fuck TS Entertainment. Fuck them. Please, they just let them burn in hell. Yes. What's that? That company that's over um Everglow, they can go to hell too. Because Everglow ain't had no damn comeback since twenty twenty one. Mm-hmm. I feel bad for in my girls. Head, in my head, I'm thinking Everglow, they have a comeback. Get, they're getting ready for a comeback. They just don't want to say nothing. But it's like, come on now. Like Come on, it's been two years. I cannot, I, I refuse to listen to Pirate. I cannot keep listening to La Di Da. I'm sorry, I'm going to say I need this comeback. Say it 50 50, though. Yep, yeah, they moving on up a lot faster than Blackpink. Like, they better mm-hmm. watch out. Look, mm-hmm. every every time I get sad, I go on Spotify, and I see that there's about 11 million uh, 
the difference between black pink and 50 50 and i start to smile again yeah <laughs> supremacy uh-huh. supremacy oh lord oh 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 now i gotta figure out what i'm gonna listen to i think i'm gonna listen to a little bit of young nudie and i'm gonna finish off with some kelly clarkson yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna, as soon as I get off here, I'm gonna turn this air on because I have to t- turn it on and turn it off because of the way it freezes up. So I think the thing is melted and turn the air on. I'm gonna look at me some gang grumps and the niggas gonna fall asleep. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah tell, really... tell Juicy I'm proud of him for getting up on them poles and, and fixing the lights and stuff. He said he did good, but you know they they gonna give us a credit since it's like it was off for nine hours. Yeah, um, which they need to. Niggas was sitting in the dark and shit. And uh, mm. what concerned me is a lot of older people in this live in this neighborhood and they're hooked up to machines. That's that that concerned me a lot. Just since how was how was um I was thinking about um too. You know um that live downstairs. Yeah. How was um um doing okay? Which up uh, that live downstairs? You know, Unc, Unc the one that be getting to blast his music. Oh, cross the street. Oh, cross the street. Uh, he, that man still be out there. He having a good time. I leave him alone. He be having his, well, he be, he be drinking his little bud, bud ice. And be, he be out in the car singing, oh, 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 oh. Nephew be, <laughs> nephew, nephew be cracking up laughing like he's out there again. He be having a good time. He be enjoying his life. I'm like, let that man be happy. Shit. Let him be drunk out there yeah. happy. He ain't bothering yeah. nobody. He just be. I'm thinking, he, yeah. He, that's how I'm going to be. Yeah. yeah, but I'm pretty, and I have to go because I have an interview. Yes, tomorrow. yes, yes. That's what we, yeah, we're going to go off here. We, everybody going to pray and send Usagi all the good energy, all the positive energy because you already got this job. It's yours. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got this, tell and we them, love you. Tell them, tell them that you can start on Friday. Mm-hmm. You don't do drugs or nothing. Say, I can start as soon as possible. Okay. And it's, it's for Walmart. Just pray. Just keep praying. Keep praying. Oh, you know, since you already got the job, Walmart, they hire anybody. Yeah. They'll give you the job, sis. Yeah. They'll, oh, yeah. They'll, they'll put you through that eight hour um shit. What is that thing? You gonna you gonna be in orientation for eight hours looking at videos and shit. You can make it through with sis. I believe in you. Thank you. If A B was able to make it through Walmart, maybe I could. You gonna be I eat a fell asleep, damn. Yeah, we go A E. Yeah, she asleep. She been working hard today. We gonna get off here, y'all. So I will. We gonna see y'all on the podcast tomorrow night. Not the pod. Yeah, the podcast, the stream tomorrow night. With that being said, we're your hosts. I'm Gigi. I'm Asagi. I'm Nicole. And A E. She in the background. She getting her sleep on. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Y'all be safe out there. Good night. Good night.